Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. It is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. On the couch. Let's see, make sure the uh, music's going to continue to play. On the couch, you know him as maybe being um, instrumental to bringing the comedic stylings of David Jolly to Orlando and the world. Mm. And you also know him from his own podcast called the Orlando Talk Show with Ross McCoy. It's Ross McCoy. Gang violence. Gang, gang <laughs> violence. Indeed. <laughs> I liked your picture from uh, yesterday where mm-hmm. you're, you're standing next to Jolly and you just put gang violence. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can imagine other people that don't know that joke being confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, what, what's what, what? It sounds like. I'll definitely have to explain it to my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah there's sure. some Georgia issues happening. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, as I was posting, I was like, I, I foresee time in the future when Facebook just straight up takes this down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't post anything about fireworks. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it does get dicey when yeah. you're like even using uh, like considered hip lingo or phrasing. They'll just yank it down. I, that happens to me all the time. I caught a ban for saying "shoot me that info later." Oh, really? It has the phrase "shoot me" in it, and yeah. that's that's no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. What's the intent? I mean, what was he? What was he shooting? I'm shooting info. Can't they program? Uh, no, whatever? nothing can be done. You know that. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. You know that. Um, BDM Appreciation Week is next week. At the end of BDM Appreciation Week, we do a BDM only party. It's gonna be. Uh, I, this one's gonna be ridiculous. We have a 30 minute. Hawaiian luau presentation that we uh-huh. have professional Hawaiian dancers and fire dancers uh, that are going to put on a show. Um, uh, there's a pool party. Me and Daniel are going to do some games. Sorry, uh, Jacka was asking me if I needed an explosion of the week song now, and I was like, "Well, I mean, if you got it, apologies." But yes, <laughs> back to the luau. Um, yeah. It's it's the first time in. A, lo- a very long time that I can remember you got off your wallet and bought us some entertainment. You used to be addicted to it. Remember Spicy Harp? You found oh. Spicy Harp at a Mexican restaurant and you <laughs> brought him to us and to all the BDMs. You used to always like, Chinese contortionist. Uh, yeah, he used to always hire acts. <laughs> Master juggler. And then for a minute, he just got into hiring the camel girl. And then it was a camel girl only. <laughs> well, that was good and, enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are anyway, we gonna have a camel girl? Yes, we are gonna yes. have a camel girl. Um, and uh, fire. Uh, I still need a uh, coconut themed bikini. <laughs> you know? It's called a coconut bra. Why can't you say um, that? He thinks it's inappropriate to ask the dancers about co- coconut bras. Like he gets no, no. The out. dancers are fine. They had it uh, full on want- the contract. Uh, the ho- the camel girl. I didn't want to put uh, coconut bra. In Why not? The, uh, it sounded creepy. Uh, it doesn't. If I ask her, it doesn't. To, you it's, have a, to, it's a luau. You say, "Do you yeah. have a coconut bra?" It, if you just say it directly, you, you don't put it say, in context. Yeah, you don't like record a voice memo and go like, mm-hmm. "Do you have a coconut?" <laughs> like you don't do it that way. You say it's a Hawaiian theme. Yeah. we would like it if possible that you arrive with a coconut bra. This guy knows. Uh, <laughs> well, I maybe s- just have grass skirt and coconut. Why don't you bra? just have Ross do it? <laughs> what? For, uh, like, why don't you pay Ross a small fee <laughs> to uh, be <laughs> harass this woman? Yeah, for to you. harass yeah. the mm-hmm. camel. Girl. No, no. Well, if I was gonna pay anything, I'd buy a coconut bra and then be like, "Look what I found! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what I found in my pants! <laughs> Where'd you find it? Look what like, I found in the trunk of my car!" Like your link chopping up bushes yeah. and something just fell out. Look what was rolling around in the back of my Ranger. Also, we've got the ACT 10-year anniversary show coming up at May 31st. Yes. Ross is going to be uh, hosting some stand-up comedy before we start our show at he 7. He is indeed with, uh, with two, Vin- of, two yeah. of my favorites, Vince Taylor. 
Ken Miller. Yeah. Um, we only get the best mm. dudes, and yeah. uh, we had to get them early. And I appreciate you facilitating that as Ken's well. Ken's a hard get lately. He I'm, re- I'm impressed he has got Ken. He really, really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Having Ken come out there is like quite the honor for us yeah. because I'm a massive fan. And then Vince basically only does his own stuff. Like I don't, I haven't seen him get hired by anybody for a while. I so see like, him on Afrotainment sometimes. Two huge good yeah, guests, yeah. I see him do his own thing. But yeah, we're very lucky to have you and those guys. It's going to be super fun. Yep. Tickets are ten bucks. I believe there's around 50 or less tickets I think it's left. less than that now. Um, Half so. price if you're wearing a coconut, bro. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, but bring your own. You have to find it. Yeah. You have to go, look what I found. Oh, look at that. Look also, what I found. Oh, and Tom and Dan Cruz, 2024.com. Still time to book. Uh, yeah, I believe you can book up until June. So we got a couple more months. And let me just give you the tea. Let me spill it a little bit. Uh, we got uh, Brendan O'Connor. On that cruise. Mm. Uh, we got, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that if Brendan's there, then Brenda will be there. Bus mm. Decker's going on that cruise. What? The bus? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a yeah. bus on a boat. <laughs> the grill dogger will be there. Um, First time ever a bus on a boat. Cadillac Pat. You know, everybody <laughs> oh. everybody's slightly concerned. You 90s. got that big motherfucker hiding treasures all around <laughs> this boat? Are you serious? Pat, Cadillac Pat, at sea, hiding treasure? I You're fucking kidding me. I didn't want to drop that yet, but you know of what? Of course, let's, when I hear the word Cadillac Pat, the immediate thought is hidden treasure let's immediately. Just say, <laughs> there will be a hidden treasure at hideaway sea, on the boat. Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, treasure wow. With Cadillac Pat. This is real life piracy you guys are engaged in. I'm, <laughs> I'm stunned. You know how many cabins Cadillac's going to? sell on his own just for being wacky yeah. recently, that's three cabins right there buddy recently, you should have an option where people can have uh, the allow Cadillac Pat access to their cabin first so they know there's treasure waiting in their cabin oh personalized <laughs> yeah, treasure yeah you know what I'm mad about uh, that Cadillac Pat does uh, is have fun. <laughs> <laughs> he he, does he fun. texts me and my wife about a payphone he just purchased. Oh, yeah, I got the picture. Oh. I got the picture. And uh, by, I got that text as well. <laughs> just by his text, I'm like, this guy has fucking more pumped, dude. fun from a payphone. He was so fucking pumped. I'm, he took a picture I mean, of this sitting m- on his island in his kitchen, and he's like, just got to do a couple, fix a couple things on it. Oh, he's so happy. He's going to put it next to his cigarette machine in his <laughs> living room. We are going to be the golden um, uh, period of old guys being able to acquire defunct technology that they wanted when they were kids. Oh, yeah. Because, like, there's no re- – it would have been super cool in 1980 to have a payphone in your kitchen. That would have been fucking <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but now yeah. it's yeah. the Wolf of Wall Street. Well, every Absolutely kid, no purpose. Every child that yeah. had a rich dad on any sitcom had a payphone in their room, and they rode a train up the a stairs tra- to their bedroom. I was going to say, a train. They had trains. Yeah. They mm-hmm. had payphones. They had stop signs. My they had stop lights. Will be when I start riding around in a LeBaron convertible. I <laughs> wanted one in 1984 so fucking bad. And I found out that we have a BDM that engineers those little cars that I wanted last time you were what? in here. Yeah. This guy was making a Stingray Corvette, the exact thing that I want, a tiny little car. <laughs> They're making them here in town, dude. I'm so close. Did you know I'm there's so like, close? There's a semi pro racing go kart track down at the, like at the ass end of uh, South Carolina. I just want to cruise with my dog. Okay. And pick up chicks. So, <laughs> well, just it's the right. essence of your that. wife was just here. The, she <laughs> she was brought just, you a bagel. <laughs> she did bring me a bagel. <laughs> yeah, that's how you bring her. I was like, this bagel's great. Um, so Ross, how was uh the show last night with uh David Jolly? It was really good. Nice right. man. You should have been there, dude. Nice. It was really, it was amazing. He had break I, dancing. Yeah, yeah. I, I sent Jolly a video of Max break dancing just because I think Jolly assumed I was lying. Uh, oh, you know, that <laughs> I saw him at one point pick up his phone and say cracker bullshit. And put it back <laughs> on. So that that explains that. Um, he was yeah. just late going on stage watching white kid break dancing. Super uh, fun audience. A lot of them were there personally to see Jolly. A lot of people from like his past and nice. stuff. And uh, so energized so fun great lineup it was really cool that's killer man like i worry about that though sometimes like people from your past you know it's like you could get like somebody like like you know angry with you or something you know i always like that's just me <laughs> who's that you no, know that's gonna, just me with like i hate this motherfucker i'm gonna go see a stand-up show tonight that <laughs> right. happens do you want to <laughs> that happens i don't know do you want to roll yeah. this right into confrontation of the week or is it too early for that or no, 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 shit. No, no. <laughs> did i nail it because dude that you don't understand like hate watching somebody but it's a thing man or like being jealous so jealous that you you paid yeah. for tickets that go to so that you person there, who so you gave the money yeah, yeah. so you yeah. can go hate, there so i hate you, so you can go there and tell that person at the one of their finest moments that you still fucking hate them Oh, you're oh you're actually going to confront the person. I wasn't the show? going to not in my analogy. <laughs> no, but, but, no, but what I was like saying is that like with my anxiety, I like when you when you just 
had that setup about like, oh, jolly people from his past that came out and all these friends. Anytime I've ever done that, like I did a show one time with the morning show we did where we came back to Deland, which is my hometown, and it it made it made me nervous because yeah. I was like, uh, not that I think I'm any better, not that I have any outstanding like wars with anybody. I don't. It's just because yeah, as an do. anxiety person, <laughs> well, maybe one person. <laughs> there's a lot maybe of two, put that stuff aside. Two, two, in addition two, to that, maybe one. There's, there's got to be dozens of wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dozens. It's not dozens. I, I can think of it's a one couple. Hand. Of it's one hand. I can keep it's one hand. A couple <laughs> wars. He got you up to five from two. Though, <laughs> I, I, so, he, yeah. he, did, he did, but I think it's two. And even that two, I think one of them's wavering. I think it's a one. I think I think it's a hard one. What about the rotten teeth guy? <laughs> okay, hold it a second. People that I don't know that I have obliterated with insults do not count as relationships that of people that hate me. That guy doesn't hate me. That shows your dysfunction in thinking that what I said to that guy matters enough for him to still carry it to this day. No, not that guy. <laughs> Different rotten teeth. There's a lot oh, of he's rotten dead. teeth. That guy's dead. No, 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 the guy. <laughs> You'll, I'll tell you the break. Oh my God, there's so. Many rotten teeth people. That I, <laughs> I, people don't know this, but I piss off a lot of people with bad <laughs> dental hygiene. I make them real mad. So, uh, do you want your confrontation? Yeah, you right or, yeah, do you want to go in? Okay, there. let me get the um, song. Hold on. I, mean, I just. I wasn't prepared on for that one. Yeah. If, you know, if you want to just play the new Explosion of the Week song, <laughs> just so we can showcase the Jack. I don't know. Work, hey, you he's he's got to send it's it over. He's got to okay, send right. it. Let me see if he, if he gave it to me. I mean, hell yeah, I'll. I'll it won't really I'll fit, but we'll you know we'll see what the Jackal's been up to. A confrontation is kind of like an explosion. Hey, <laughs> explosion of anger. This All is right, kind of a simmery one, but uh, let's let's get into it. One of the greatest pieces of music that we've ever aired on this show. My favorite. Rush! Rush! It's like pyro firing off her. I love that song. So, Competition Week uh, brought to you by the Orlando Funny Bone. Don't call it the improv like I did on stage last night. It's the Orlando <laughs> Funny Bone. Oh. Yeah, it's but then I Dana real quick corrected to calling it the Funny Bone Improv, so it was all good. <laughs> it's the fun prop. Now, uh, before you start, I imagine because you're hosting, mm -hmm. like I'm familiar with the Funny Bone setup. And they, there's a green room, and I've been back to the green room uh, a couple times. And the the next time you're in there, you'll be surprised to note that they made it somehow shorter by two feet. Oh, really? They <laughs> rearranged the wall, and it's just like, it's, I don't so know. So, less stage? No, no, no. The green room is smaller. Oh, okay. Yeah, they took out a wall of the green room and pushed it back. So, it's like, and they painted Well, Funny Bone is more letters than improv. <laughs> they had to uh, widen it. They had to accommodate. You know what always bothered me, and this is, again, not a diss, the improv sign behind the comics mm -hmm. from people hitting their mic on it. Dented. Had so many dents yeah. in it that every time, as an OCD weirdo anxiety yeah. person, when I walked in there, I'd be like, I can't watch this show now. <laughs> it would That's how weird I am. Going on stage, it would catch your eye, too, because it had a yeah. weird glint in the it spotlight. Would shine. It just was always weird walking up being like, who the f what animal? Well, yeah. I just uh, would figure you would be in the green room until the show started. Like, you would have uh, little interaction with the audience, uh, like, outside of being on stage. But uh... God, if only that were so. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I got there, got there pretty early, all things considered. Uh, six o'clock doors, seven, seven o'clock show time. So I got there, like, I'm going to say, like, 6.15-ish. And then um, had my wife and Bart Merrick with me. And then I uh, had to, like, I, I walk right up and uh, I'm like, hey, I'm hosting tonight. So now I'm covered in, like, the pheromone that lets me, like, pass in and out innocently. All right. And it's all good. But those two, I'm like, and here's my plus ones. There's a whole rigmarole of a process, you know? Like, it's a whole thing you got to go through to get them in. So, like, it was a while before I got them through TSA security or whatever and into the, uh, into the room. And uh, so, you know, checking in with Jolly, a little bit on the late side, and boy, howdy, everyone wanted to talk to Jolly, you know, like, so it was hard to sit down and, like, go over the scheduling of it all, you know, at yeah. first. Yeah, and you're one to, like, dial in beats, and, like, I want to make sure we got... I had my list, I yeah. had my presumed set times for everybody, I had what I thought he wanted to do time-wise, but, you know, there were some final changes to the lineup, uh, you know, he had some different ideas about times and stuff, so we needed to coordinate all that. Trying to get to it, then a com another comic shows up a little bit on the late side, 
I won't name any names, but you might um, know his hit song, Beat That Pussy Down. And <laughs> <laughs> he was like weird. Just hair. Oh, he was well man. before Showtime, but a hair on the side, like, the yeah. side, and uh, had to help him run his guests through this exact same rigmarole yeah, of like yeah. TSA clearance security, you know? And uh, so by the time I got to Jolly in the green room, he's sitting down like with his notes in his hand. It's like 10 minutes to seven. All right. Right? Okay. So like, and, and uh, you, there's a little bit of leeway in there, but man, the improv, they, there's a lot of people on the payroll and they like to keep a tight ship. So I know we're starting like, if not at seven, real close to seven. Sure. Yeah. Uh. So Jolly's sitting there. He's kind of like, he's got his paperwork. He's got a pen in hand and he's got his box of t-shirts in front of him. And there's this dude just like talking to him. And it's the kind of talking, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but like my wife will be on a phone call and everybody like, Okay, great. That's good. Um, thanks. Okay, great. And then my wife will be like, "Oh, by the way, did that new driveway come out good?" Like everybody's wrapping it up, and like, <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. somebody jumps in with a new point of contact to yeah, start yeah. the conversation like all over again. And in the space of like from like you know six fifty to six fifty five, this guy does this jolly like three or four times. You know, like. Oh man. And so I'm doing stuff like um, kind of I'm like standing there. I'm kind of like tapping my pen to paper. You know, like I'm like. I'm doing a little bit of eclipsing. You guys see the eclipse the other day? I'm kind of like trying to put myself between Jolly and the guy a little bit. You know, like I'm, okay. I'm working my way to like try to break the sight line. Maybe it's a sight line thing. I don't know. And, and the uh, only thing me and Jolly do have in common is our like, you know, our want to oh, be you'll nice. Oh, you talking, yeah. To people oh, yeah. and not. Yeah. He said oh, that no. to me before. <laughs> yeah. He said yeah, he yeah. has the same thing you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has actually said he has the same thing you have. No, every time there's like a wrap up and then a reintroduction, Jolly is back fully engaged in the conversation. Like he is like just as involved in the conversation as this guy. It's yeah, like, yeah. And so, um, I guess I, I think he goes, "Oh, are those your t-shirts?" And uh, yeah, Jolly's like, "Yeah, yeah." What do you mean? And the guy's like, "Yeah, you got like a three X." So Jolly's like rooting through, but he's like, "I know I got a three X in here, but you know, um, it's kind of hard for me to find it right now. I'll get it to you in the lobby after the show. How about that?" And the guy's like, "Cool, cool." And I go. That's why I jump in. And I'm like, you know what, sir? I'll, I'll personally go through that box as soon as we get, you know, get rolling here, and I'll get that shirt out for you, and we'll, I'll make sure we get it for you. But uh, we really got to get the show started now, because at this point, the DJ has come down, and the DJ is like, also, the DJ standing there doing the exact same shit I am. He's tapping his fucking pen on the paper, uh-uh. and he's like kind of trying to edge into the guy. And so I know it's like, and we're like, it's edging to seven, and I'm like, man, it's, it's almost seven. We got a seven p.m. showtime, and the guy is not like upset, but I would say maybe miffed. You know, like miffed, like just the the slightest little bit of like, <laughs> oh, this show's about me. <laughs> no. I, I mean, that's what everybody does, right? Isn't that what they call main character syndrome or whatever it is, where like, every, you know, you're doing it and you have like no <laughs> yeah, regard yeah. for anything else that's even going around you other than what your mission I'll is? Just, how about this? He's just so engaged in conversation with Jolly and so enjoying it. Maybe he hasn't seen him in a while. And he's like, he's just so, you know. Anybody interrupting that conversation is gonna miff him a little bit, right? You know, and yeah, uh, I mean, I guess. And for some reason, the room like really tightens up. Like, there's comics like sitting there, Jolly. Everybody kind of like freezes up, and I'm like, "What did I do?" And uh, Jolly goes, "You know, that's Cam Patterson's dad, right?" And I'm like, "Oh no, I had no idea." And uh, and so everybody kind of stiffened up a little bit. And there had been like some talk of like the tour when the tour is coming through and stuff like that. So I had him kind of like packed as like maybe a club owner or something. I right, 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 right. And uh, so yeah, Cam Patterson's dad. And then I go, and uh, I kind of like take a breath and I go, "Oh, hey, the next time you see Cam, uh, <laughs> no, I go, oh, you're Cam's dad." And he goes, "Yeah." And I go, "Do me a favor." And like the room tightens up even more yeah, because you're like tightening me up. <laughs> yeah. Because what do you think is about to happen? I mean, like I don't know, but I mean, I mean, you could make. Oh, it. I gotta guess. <laughs> yeah, you want to go first? <laughs> yeah. You say something dickheadish. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just my guess. I did all the comics in the room. I know how they think, and I know what they're thinking, and I know they think I'm about to tell him. Yeah, tell Cam. The next time he's in town, I'd love to host for him. I'm about to hit up. I've just pissed off Cam's dad. <laughs> and now I'm about to yeah, hit him up for hosting. That's called okay. the Coulier. I like that. I like that. I fully support that. Yeah. I fully support the Coulier. Uh, <laughs> he's, yeah. In the most awkward moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they think I'm about to do- Because you got him on the ropes. The full Coulier. He's looking, to for, the, he's uh, looking for the three X. He Cam got him on the ropes. And I go, no, so I go, um, hey, can you do me a favor? And I reach into my pocket and I go, can you touch my rock just for good luck? 
Okay, now you're a weird white guy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know Cam. You haven't seen Cam in a while. No. Cam's whole thing is that he likes rocks. Oh, okay. And this is the Cam Patterson's signature rock. From oh, okay. Buck. It's okay, yeah. the <laughs> official Kill Tony merch. Oh, I didn't. We didn't know that. And oh, so yeah, 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 I was. I had the fucking Cam Patterson rock oh, on me. It. You saved it. And uh, yeah, I got Cam's dad to touch it, and it uh, it yeah. was a totally different situation. <laughs> yeah, you, but you saved it. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like you pissed off the weekend, but you happen to turn around. And you're wearing his shirt. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or I got I like it. an exo tattoo on my bicep yeah, yeah, or something. Exactly. And I'm and like, like uh, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, cool. I get it. Yeah, did, yeah. You, did your life flash uh, flash bef- between like? Did you freak out? Were you like in in a moment? Because no, I, I always do that. My thing is that uh, nobody books me anyway, so I don't give a shit about shit. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it just happened to be I had the fucking Camp Patterson rock on me, and I was like, oh, that'd be a good way to defuse this situation, and it worked. But uh, you know, it just was a coincidence. <laughs> So, um, and then I hosted the fuck out of that show, dude. I'm so good at that. It's and fucking amazing. And the the crowd was good. Nobody oh, was like so good. I went. Immediately. I worried a little bit about that because when it is a homecoming show, you get the guys that want to come to the show and then start yelling out like "Remember me?" or like it, let's say they had like a catchphrase back in the day, and you know you yell "Mammy Fox" or whatever you yell. There out. was one guy that talked to you the whole show, and I won't name him, but you might know his album, "The Magnificent Asshole," but. <laughs> It's fine. It's all good. The, the crowd was fucking amazing. I like right. uh, my opener was this side gang, that side violence, and they were all in on it, dude. They were like all about it. Everybody knew what was up. You guys are uh, spoiled. You get it like every show, hometown crowd type of situation. But yeah. for comics, man, it is like, it's like it's like being at the Olympics or something. It's so it's like it's like playing at the highest level. It's, for it's sure. amazing. It's so much fun. So uh, I got a dad question uh, to ask. Is it you, about Ross. Cam's dad? Because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not good with dads. That yeah. guy. It turns out. So, uh, how bad is inappropriate audio for uh, uh, your kids um, uh, compared to visual? I'm just now dipping my toe into that. Okay, so because I I weigh visual way more than audio. I think I do too. Um, I feel like audio, like you know, just words, and you know, even if there's like graphic. Uh, words and explanations in. I well, was what like, would you consider a graphic well, word or explanation? Um, so I may have bumbled my son's innocence away. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow! Uh, you uh, signed your kids up for uh, bumble. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> huge mistake. And um, you want to get them on grind? <laughs> yeah, you got to ease them in. Have them start with a Facebook account. You, uh, and, and I'm doing it slowly. Christian Mingle, maybe. You know, and Four uh, farmers. Farmers only. Yeah, I was farmers thinking only. they're they're probably good at that. Yeah. So um, recently, well, first, uh, did you notice that the two most married guys knew the most like dating websites? <laughs> is, that, is that a bad well, sign? Go Ashley Madison, but it would be like too hard. Um, so uh, recently we showed uh, Tommy and Max tribute by Tenacious D, uh, and they liked it a lot. Okay, see, so I approve of that. Uh, I, I do like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Pretend it, that um, somebody listening never gave a shit about Tenacious D and explain the raunchy bits of that to okay, us. Okay, well, what's the... see, the, that's not that raunchy. Yeah, okay. I don't Tri- think Tribute, Tribute's more of a song about their love for, like, a band as great as, like, a Led Zeppelin or Stairway to Heaven and, like, them making their own version of that proclaiming themselves the greatest yeah. band in the world. Do they right? get into, like, devil stuff at all? Was no, any, like... the devil's there yeah, in the well, road. They, have... <laughs> the devil's there. they get into it like that Charlie Daniel listen. style. Charlie <laughs> Daniel style. The devil? That's yeah. all, that's all my sons are way back. I showed yeah, yeah. them the devil at three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, you know. They, yeah, they, Charlie it, Daniel's level devil, yeah. right? They say motherfucker. It was fine. The, the, the curse words don't matter at this point. My, my sons have uh, listened to many songs of curse words. Cursing doesn't matter anymore. Gotcha. Uh, they love it. Uh, and they yeah, we see, play songs I, openly I, with a curse. I, I honestly wish Maisie he loved it. She does not. And mm. uh, and then I got great joy in the fact that they liked Tenacious D. And then I started explaining because they, they wa- recently watched all the Kung Fu uh, Panda movies. Uh, they they okay. enjoyed those. And I was like, that Jack Black, he's part of Tenacious D. Yep. I was like telling him, like, Kung Fu Panda. Dan, is this the first time they're singing? Co- this? I, I can't get over Kung Fu Is this the first time that's <laughs> come <laughs> up? Because I can't believe I've never heard <laughs> 
for. Yeah, boy, my boy's going to Kung Fu. Kung Fu, yeah. I'm Kung Fu the shit out of you. You are a hillbilly. Is that a Hong Kong hillbilly? Is that a Hong Kong Oh, fluid? shit, we're running late for our Kung Fu lessons. <laughs> Jump in the truck, boy. I gotta run you down there. Oh, God damn, mm. which strip mall is this Kung Fu blade mm. in? I gotta take you in there and get your lesson. Oh, shit, we forgot your belt. <laughs> I gotta turn around, run in there and get your Kung Fu belt. Give me another beer. I'm watching Kung yeah, Fu movies. Grab a beer when you're in there and you get your belt. Bring it out of there. I'll drive you up for your Kung Fu lesson. <laughs> Kong so Fu. Fu. That's a new character. It's so That's a new right. character That's I'm a... working on. It's called <laughs> Hillbilly is late for Kong Fu. Okay. It's Kong the... Kong, same shit. It's the only martial art you learn from a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big chop. So anyway, um, is, we've been driving around. I'll put on uh, tribute. We'll all sing it. I like that. You're bonded. Yeah, You're yeah, bonded. Yeah. And then, uh, but you know, Do Matt, they, does he? Is Max really belting it out? Well, Matt, like Tommy likes it more than Max. See, this he you got my kid. What are you, no, I, no, no, I no. should have the fucking tenacious D singing, motherfuckers. Like, what, this is not fair. Uh, no, no. I want the work one. <laughs> I don't want the work one. <laughs> I want the tenacious D goop balls. Wake up at five of the war work. That's what Maisie <laughs> does. The trophies work. Sorry. Anyway, okay, back to your story. Uh, my sons hate work. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me <laughs> they hate work. Being hot. <laughs> they like video games. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, and all I want to do is watch cartoons. <laughs> so, you guys are like one lightning strike away from a body. <laughs> we pee in the same fountain. We're gonna yeah. get what we want. <laughs> so anyway, God damn it. Um, so I, like, I've been playing this while we drive around I love it. and then yesterday I was playing, uh, you know, uh, Tenacious D just that and Wonder Boy oh, is no. really the only two. I think I know where you went. The only two songs that they could hear cause they get real bad and like, yeah, a lot of devil two, to it. Yeah. Two, oh, not the devil. <laughs> the <laughs> the skits, way they're skits about <laughs> cock pushups. Uh, All right. So okay. what's their background with goof rock? Do they have a foundation in like Weird Al at all? Or no. is this their first? Exposure no, to it, Tom took them straight to it the. It goes straight to cock. <laughs> 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 uh, sometimes you gotta fuck them hard. Uh, <laughs> push, there's no part of that song that is good for my sons to hear. Do you anyway, know what? They're still young enough, though. You can go back to like just start a like. I'm assuming you have Pandora <laughs> like an animal. Start a Weird Al channel on your Pandora <laughs> and like listen to what comes up on there. Yeah, yeah, no, probably I know. Get some, I don't uh, know how what? to do any of that, Ross. <laughs> you know, you'll probably get some Ray Stevens in there. I, oh, boy, it's been so long since I've had to like I went Spotify so long ago. But yeah, we like the Pandora station. It always it kicks up some like it'll kick up like a raunchy stand up bit every once in a while. But you just skip, and then you get like you know cartoon themes and stuff like that, and then just goof rock. So were goof they rock. just doing this on their own? No, 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 no. This happened this morning um, when I was taking him to school. So uh, I, you know, do the whole morning routine, whatever. I take their backpacks into my truck. <laughs> because they're all heavy. <laughs> they don't <laughs> carry their own backpacks, <laughs> which is insane to me, dude. I, they will. Maisie but, uh, carries a goddamn Marine's <laughs> rucksack <laughs> with two jumbo water bottles uh -huh. on the side uh -huh. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's if my I own carry fault. it, she's I like, don't... give me that. <laughs> she's like, don't touch my shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I take their backpacks in there, whatever, leave uh -huh. the doors open for them. Uh, <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> Christ. What? And uh, and then anyway, so uh, to, are you a dad or a chauffeur? <laughs> 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 Your egg sandwich, hey, sir. Hey, hey, Do they make you put on a little hat when they wake up? <laughs> well, it's, it's the way I was raised. I was raised soft, uh, and I'm doing it to my son. Soft life. And uh, so, so anyway, uh, they they get in the car, and then it, uh, remember, I'm like, oh shit. I have oh, to. Oh, you're, you're kung fu bail. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then I, I forgot my bike because I got a bike today after the, the show. And I got a bike and swim. <laughs> well, make them get the bike. You did everything else. So, uh, so I'm like, so I, I'm like, I turn on the, the, the car so they have AC. And then I get. Oh, my I get, God. I get, <laughs> I get, this all checks out, by the way. <laughs> uh, One million. Uh, <laughs> and, of course you And know. then I run back inside to get the bike uh, to go and put on the yeah. goddamn you bike. Gotta take it off the trainer. Truck. You got to take it off yeah, the trainer. Off the train. So I'm in there. And the porn video you were watching earlier, you're playing the <laughs> just the blasting time. in your cup holder. Uh, oh, believe me, that's almost happened. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's it happened. Luckily, my yeah. volume was down, but it showed up on the. the you can see uh -huh. it. it. Says X video. Yeah, yeah, well, Max is like, what is cuckold? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> anyway, so I uh, I'm in there taking the bike off the trainer. I go, I take it off. I'm in the behind my truck now, putting the bike on my bike rack yeah. and then i'm like what the fuck is that <laughs> i hear 
kill boss of sausage. <laughs> oh. And then I'm like, oh shit. Because when I turned on my car, it immediately just Your started, butt cheeks is warm. <laughs> started playing the last thing when I turned off my car, which was Tenacious D. And you need lubrication, <laughs> honey, I'm my kill boss is sausage. And then I immediately like, oh shit. And I run over there, open the door, and then turn on the volume. And then I look back at my sons, and they're both sitting there oh, with, yeah. with, oh, with yeah. their eyes wide. And then uh, they know and, what a kielbasa sauce is. That's easy to put together. And then I'm like, "How long has this been playing?" Did and, you ask them that? And you uh, act mad. <laughs> you act mad. And then you I, could look at the display, and it would tell you how many minutes it was. Well, no, 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 well, I. Cock push-ups may or may not have played. Oh, it's, and, a, it's a short one. It's a little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a skit. Yeah, and, and they're then, small. And then I got in my truck, and then we drove to school silently. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then they all, always drive to school silently. <laughs> and then I'm like, Daddy, how could a chicken do push-ups? They don't have arms. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I'm scared that this my the way my brain works and my bumbling is going to slowly but surely expose them to worse and Why worse things. Why didn't you have a conversation with them about it? Be well, I didn't know what to say. And I also you didn't want to say it was hey. jokes and it might help it, I think. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I would. Did you guys hear anything you have questions about? Yeah, I uh, say a lot of things and I tell May, uh, I'll go, like, there's a joke. I, th I Jokes are for everything. I throw everything as jokes. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Because it fixes it. It's like, yeah. if they know that kielbasa sausage is a ding-dong, it's jokes. Like, I mean, like, hey, you, you just for truck time. If you just in the truck. If you know they heard it and you don't say anything, the, the, they're just imagining everything. Yeah, and their little <laughs> imaginations. I'm with Ross on this are one. Like, so yeah. fertile they could go places yeah. you don't even fucking know yeah they may know? be like, worried they may be worried about their own sauces yeah you know yeah yeah but again the i will bumble the conversation into a place or uh, i get you stuck can't tell you can't tell you've been yeah, having time. uncensored tenacious <laughs> tribes yeah 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 so uh, but then there's uh, like there's something to be said for like they there's parts that they just won't understand what they don't understand you know like i i, I noticed that with Maisie, it goes right over her head and like she knows the classics she knows F word. She knows. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, and an I, audio. I'll, give you, I'll give you one that I did. You could be exposed to bad audio, and oh, that's way better. Over, right? over like, violence and pornography. Or yeah. just like the visual, I mean, and the audio is way, like, you just, you know, what? You're hearing words, or, uh, you know. Or can't be that bad. is it worse? Because I remember my dad was a big Frank Zappa fan, and there was this song called Titties and Beer. Oh, yeah. And oh. it's about titties and beer, and guess who makes an appearance? The devil. <laughs> and <laughs> He's always in the best <laughs> devil. In the devil's the best <laughs> my cock push <laughs> well, Who do you think invented cock push and, and then he describes it. He's like, it's a uh, boner pushes that's my you. Point. So, like, the more descriptive it is as audio, you know, kind of, again, their little heads, they're just making all the pictures in their heads. I remember getting a, I remember the first piece of audio, disgusting audio I heard. What, what was it? It was a rap CD. I couldn't tell you the name of the rap artist, but it was a, it was a girl getting fucked. Like a, <laughs> oh, ah, ah, yeah, ah, one of those. It wasn't Duck Job? No, it wasn't Duck Job, <laughs> but it was in some, I remember yeah. the first time I heard it, I remember being like, well, that's cool. <laughs> I don't think I hated it. I remember. Did thinking, you know like, what it was? Oh yeah, I was like, they're fucking. I remember like. Oh, okay, but you knew no, that. No, I was then older. older. I was older. Oh, okay. No, no, no. But think about that. That wasn't a thing when I was like right. nine. I don't believe there were any artists putting out music. Maybe underground. Maybe underground. But like right. I, the first time I heard it, I'm trying to go with what Ross is saying about could it be worse? Right. That's the question. To hear and it. I think it might, it could be because when the first time I heard that, now granted, that's not what you heard. That mm -hmm. was just a song. But this, yeah, yeah. I remember feeling a little like, are they really doing that? <laughs> like, I mean, like, I didn't like. Is this like, real? Yeah, what is that? You know? Well, um, this is worse parenting. So, uh, <laughs> and well, then, not with me, but with uh, Tori Spelling. Have you heard about this, Ross? Huh. Um, so I don't a, even understand this. A, me neither. Uh, and also, why did she say this <laughs> <laughs> in a podcast? Because <laughs> she had her dirty dad is like I think on record as being great, right? The her, uh, yeah. what, the Tori Spelling's yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. Isn't uh, he the one that created like nine hundred two one zero and put her on the in all the shows? And yeah, 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 yeah. She's a reason she's rich. I think <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, uh, absolutely. But, anyway, and uh, was on a TV show because, like, you know, yeah. frankly, she's not. A TV star by any definition. So the story that came out, and Daniel told me about this, and I read it, and uh, I still don't understand why she has to do this. Do this, but uh, the the headline was 
um, Tori Spelling can't poop unless her nine year old watches her. <laughs> and then, yeah, and, and I was concerned about like I was like, oh, okay, that's a thing. So I loaded up the story. And then in the story, I think it said she hasn't, for the last 18 years, she's never had a bowel movement that wasn't connected to a member of her family or another person that was in the room with her? Yes. What? That's right, right? Yes. 18 years and there, and of a, shitting with somebody else in the room. And apparently it used to be her husband. Like she started- Dean McDermott? Or is she that started him? pooping with her husband in the room, and then she never could poop without her husband being there in the room with her. And then she got divorced or whatever. So now she substitutes her husband with her nine year old because she can't poop now without having someone standing or looking at her oh. and i was like what the fuck is well, that are they right? looking at her or are they just in the room i, I guess they're yeah i'd have, I to, I'd have room, to try but... it once i'd have to be like let me do it with you to see <laughs> how, do i talk to you do i just have to do i hold your hand here's the... do i look into have, your eyes why have they did... taken that kid yet <laughs> <laughs> they have to take that kid it's weird right why yeah. did i mean maisie watched me maisie watched me at the current yeah, yeah, like but that's because it was a one holer, and I was about to shit my pants, and it had to happen. No, yeah, everybody. That was shit. an emergency, and she was laughing. And yeah, how old? Like, like, how old was she? Oh, there was like, like there was like a month ago. Like I don't care. Like I she's nine. She could have sat outside by herself. She's eight. Eight. She's eight. <laughs> Listen, like I no, don't. She just laughed at it because it was all diarrhea. Like if my sons <laughs> were in the room, I'll shit with. Like there would be no reason to. But if there was a, a poor, like you it, shit with your boys have come in and seen you shit, right? Well, not no. now as much. Like uh, if the door shut. They don't just crank the door open and start talking to you like Maisie does. Yeah, sometimes that happens. The, you, my sons are usually uh, they keep to themselves. <laughs> they're quiet. I don't even know where they're in the house. Most they of the time, I'm like, hello, like, who's hiding there? In the tiny wastebasket <laughs> yeah, next yeah, to the yeah, toilet. Yeah. They are not talkers. Oh they God, are Maisie quiet. opens the door. She's like, I yeah. brought the dog to you. What are you doing today? Where's dance? What time's my yeah. dance tonight? What are we having for dinner? What are we yeah, I no, would no. rather super glue a cork up my asshole <laughs> and then eat SpaghettiOs until I die like in seven <laughs> than live life like this. There's no fucking way. No, no. We, you, they, they have to push you down and kick your belly. <laughs> which is, which is wait, that's not part of the, You now are being violent. Like the, the whole point of gluttony is you eat yourself until your stomach explodes. And you don't just push them down and start kicking them. That's what happened. What the fuck? Anyway, so. So, um, yeah. Oh, what happens if she doesn't? Okay, so, like, let's say her kid's at camp. Nobody else is around for a month. Zoom. What happens? You got to get on Zoom. Well, also. It's not a bit. Let's say she's. Let's say she's been arrested. She's in solitary confinement. She's still eating. Nobody. No contact with anybody, much less somebody watching her shit. What happens? I don't know how if long she has a she plan go? for that. But how, how, well, gonna, then this is a lie, then, right? There's, is, is, there's physics involved. How long until she keeps putting food in? She says, <laughs> I can't go until it just all goes <laughs> bloom. Oh, and eventually. Oh, just, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have to choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. choice. You can, but also. That's how I like to go, by the way. I like to just keep filling myself and filling myself until my body just can't take it anymore. As a guy who just had a colonoscopy, there is stuff you can take <laughs> that'll make it happen no matter who's watching <laughs> you or not. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter if you're in front of the goddamn Super Bowl or. Or nobody, it'll happen. The also, it's funny that like obviously like, she said this on some podcast, and then all like, and we've seen this with the Bob Saget thing. Like then, I like TMZ reports it. Then every other fucking Bob new- Saget couldn't <laughs> take a <laughs> shit without holding his wife's hand. And then so you see all these other like uh, you know entertainment news Bob sources. Bob Saget <laughs> died from not shitting while having somebody in the bathroom at the Orlando Hotel. Why? I heard that. They, Did Tori Spelling <laughs> shit Bob Saget to death? <laughs> Click the link to find out. <laughs> Why didn't someone tell her, like, don't mention this to anybody? Like, yeah, how did this? That's the bigger story to me. Like, I how did it? Right. I don't care about you shitting, whatever. Like, why don't How did it get to a point where TMZ was like, hey, I got a, I got a hot tip that Tori Spelling can't shit unless somebody's in the room with her and she hasn't done it for 18 years? Like, if, if Daniel. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, every, and it makes me realize that a lot of people do crazy ass shit out there. I don't. Like, I, I'm uh, the, there's I'm, something. No, <laughs> I'm boring motherfucker. <laughs> there, there's got to be something. No. Well, driving to the doctor the, uh, the day before to see the oh, to see the park I'm really space. Scared about <laughs> only yeah, if yeah. I'm really scared about that. Yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy. I mean, uh, I guess, yeah. but I don't put it anywhere yeah. near having to have you in the no. room with me while I'm shitting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I just get anxiety and I want a smooth morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't want to have to leave early. I like just, yeah, yeah. you know. It's called like, run-through. It's called pre-plan. Yeah, it's, it's just successful successful people anxiety. Do. But yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Yes, that is a little crazy. Yeah, the pooping with your, like, and 
like I understand having your kids in the room and doing it, but needing them to be in the room it's a or any problem. human is a is bizarre, a mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and, and you should shit alone. It means that you, you are should not be well able to adjusted. shit under any circumstance. <laughs> like, as a well-adjusted human, you should be able to shit. There I can be... shit right now in front of everybody in here. I can, I can only shit in front of Ross. I can only shit in front of a full orchestra playing a Sousa March no. in <laughs> December. I That's can the only circumstances. I can even do the graphic shit. Like if somebody came in, like if a crazy person came in here and said the only way I'm letting you out yeah. of this scenario cool. is if you shit on Tom's head I, Classic think, shit or die. I can do it <laughs> no but that's I'm closer to spelling because most people yeah. want to be alone and I do have nobody alone. watching I do want to be alone so but the fact that you could now, have someone watching and not bother you is closer to spelling than us like I that, can't have someone okay. watching me like, are there degrees to it? That. Like she needs the minimum one kid in there. Now, if we put her like in front of the Hollywood Bowl and it's sold out, could she have like a mega shit? If there was more <laughs> attention directed <laughs> at her, right. like Does could the amount of yeah. people increase? <laughs> yeah, but then, then it becomes then there's a diminishing fetish. returns at a certain point. Yeah, I feel like I feel like she nine people. And she'd get the like a big beer. Uh, what about twelve? Like, let's 12. get her shitting in front of a jury 12. and then yeah, let's see if you what's get up. A jury of twelve yeah. of your peers. Uh-huh. Remember the virus guy, old McAfee or whatever. Yeah. Like? Well, he would cut a hole in a hammock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would lay under it, and then he would have the lady in the hammock shit on his face. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Prostitute shit on his face. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not have Ooh, a? Dude. Why prostitutes? Who, well, who else well, is going yeah, to well, pay for I mean, that? I can't imagine that a prostitute's diet is, I mean, that's a lot of, like, fast food on your face. I'd rather have somebody that has, a, like, a, a well-balanced. You'd probably pay for them to eat some guac and jello yeah, beforehand. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. do you yeah. get to pick what they eat? It's in yeah. Belize. Are they, I feel like there's some, like, a okay. tropical diet. Yeah, yeah. Some, uh, yeah. It's mangoes. all fruit. It's all fruit, a lot of fiber. There's one vegan burrito yeah, stand. like bananas you know. in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like I'm not into any of that. You said you tried to elude. This guy's been trying to assassinate my character. No, no, no. That's been the whole vehicle of this entire show. It's just been him trying to assassinate my character. You tried to make me a Tory Spelling. Uh, like I have to have Andrea Shit in, in there with me, and I don't. Uh, she does. She opens the door and has full blown conversations to me or while now, she's farting. Mac- my wife every morning. Every morning, my wife farts ginormous mega whale farts. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite Sugar Ray song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are, why, are, are we getting to the part about McAfee where he did my favorite thing, which is he like he tweeted, "If I kill myself, they did it," and then he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> dude, people fell for it. People ate it up, dude. People are still talking about it. <laughs> you, you gave it away, McAfee. <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. So you want to uh, take a break? Yeah, yeah. Let's take, uh, but I will mention one last. Uh, speaking of weird things, oh that, my god, um, that's funny. Dude. So a man with a pig's head was spotted <laughs> in Costa Rica. Um, I don't know if other people are like this, but I can imagine they are. Just because my son is like this, and I thought I was alone in the world. Imagination is a weakness. We discovered. We talked about <laughs> that, that this week. Is that um, me and my son Tommy? Don't have an opinion on much, and uh, and certain things we. It sounds look- like the beginning of a war. There's <laughs> <laughs> I don't got an opinion on much, but I do have an opinion I'll on explain. trans people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds. Like. That's what I was no, no. Yeah. I don't know much, but I do know one thing. Yeah. That all never ends well <laughs> when mm-hmm. somebody says I, that. I'll explain. There's certain things in life that we actually can't. We don't understand what we like. Or we can't un- like we. Go- oh yeah, I'm the weird one. So yeah, I'm the weird. <laughs> I can't understand how to like things. So uh, art is one of these things <laughs> that I don't understand. If you show me two pieces of art. Right, and then you say, "Which do you like better?" I swear to God, I'll take a lie detector. I'll do like if there's a way for you to prove that this is the 100 percent the truth. I will do anything to prove it. Wait, it's just both are indifferent to you. They're you get nothing out of <laughs> like, either of you know, them. Like I can't tell you. Like if you show me two pieces of random art. And you ask me which one do you like better? I cannot tell the you Mona the Lisa truth. And something impressionistic, yeah. just like yeah, yeah. it's not of, like picking pants. Which one like, do you yeah. like better? Just like whatever, I, I, you just have to like things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I can't tell you which one I like because they both are a nothing. 
Like that's I, and insane. That's a, see, that's true insanity. I'll right lie there. to you. Spelling fine. <laughs> right. You have some kind of happiness blindness. <laughs> yeah, no, like, no, no, but it's not that. But like, there's other things that like. You can't have like, an opinion on it. But like, music is similar to this in a way. Like, there most music I'm indifferent about. Chat room says you're too afraid of being wrong. This is not, I don't know. Okay. No, no, because so, there is no right and wrong. It's subjective. Right. But, but with, you, you're so not. I can't but you can't even get an opinion. Like if you just saw, like Ross is saying, if you have Mona Lisa and then something that's just like colors on Cubes. a, like, mm-hmm. or splatters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't look at either of those and go, I like well, that one. Better. I like more yeah. realistic stuff. Or yeah. fuck that realistic well, stuff. It, I like to use my imagination. You're not hurting anybody's feelings. Okay, well, by the way. If you're there, not going to hurt anybody's feelings. If there's just splatters, I'll be like, fuck those splatters. Okay. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> like, the person, to his credit, yeah, he's yeah, always like, been a fuck those splatters guy. He's um, always been a fuck yeah, those like if you, if you, that's the name of the show, by the way. If you drew, like painted a goddamn person and it looks real, I'll be like, well, that's the better one. Like that's a. But between like two Van Goghs, you got sunflowers yeah, yeah, yeah. and you got like the potato farmers. Or, or like and you two, can't you can't even tell the difference. Two country songs, rock song, any really but you can't okay. form an opinion of like, oh, that one's got a better beat, or this one has colors I like better. Like, and we're going sense by sense. If you notice that, like you got sight <laughs> and like and hearing now. Like if I made you a roast beef and bacon sandwich with a little bit of horseradish and then I put a piece of shit between two slices of bread <laughs> okay, well, like would you be able to you are you are now giving me extremes which yes. is of course we're dialing yeah, it yeah. in okay, we're dialing yeah, it yeah, in yeah of course the extremes shit sandwich okay. or roast beef sandwich or turkey sandwich that, like, if you yeah get... I have no opinion oh, <laughs> no, no. I, I, I you do have you're an opinion no, no, you do you're <laughs> insane it's just what it's like even if it varies day by day you choose not to have an opinion no it's you have to choose you have to be like I feel like roast beef today they're, or like, do you yeah. know what sounds good today? Turkey. They're not no, both fine. No feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you that's which crazy. one that I, I would you, rather that's have. That's insane. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's like, insane. You're anchored to a man. I can tell you. <laughs> I can look at anything it's and not tell that, you immediately exactly. whether I like it or not. Yeah. Anything. Two, anything of the world. But can you can describe why you like it yeah, more? absolutely. Two completely bizarre. exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> two that's big, bizarre. Two big pens. You put two big pens on it. I like the one on the left. Yeah. I'll just pick one. I can do it right now. That's my favorite one. I can do it right now. Two right. Implement. Yeah. One of them is a ballpoint pen. One of them is a mechanical pencil. You ready? I'm yeah. gonna go for it. Uh-huh. Mechanical pencil. It's I like, better. I like the way yeah, it writes. I like it. it's lighter. I like the way the, the friction feels on a piece of paper. I like the erasability of it. I like to be able to do that. That's the okay. That's a little different. That now you're getting into utility, and and I'll pick the mechanical pencil all the time because okay. I can erase it. There's a, a reasons okay. like I'm used to writing with pencil. Uh, I think like you're obsessed uh, with making the right decision but, and no. it's just, no, like, no, just it's back to like art. He puts or, things in the categories of things he can use and things he can't <laughs> use. Yeah, yeah. Tools and then shit like art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> But I realized bullshit, <laughs> cool shit and bullshit. I've asked my son what he wants to do or what he likes, and he's he has like, he has a way out. And he, he just has, has no, to stop watching you. He has to look at everybody else. He has you no, have a way out. He has no opinion either. Like uh, if you ask him, like, would you want to go to the trampoline park? Or do you want to go to uh, uh, turkey and roast beef? <laughs> <laughs> or like this? Uh, you know, he's like, well, you know, like it, 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 it actually physically affects him where he's like, please don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that kid said at the water park. Remember, he goes, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> like, we'll stand around as a family, be Max and Crystal, and be like, it's up to Tommy what Tommy wants to do. Oh, he's that's like, fucking and, torture, dude. And then he's like, please don't do this to me. And we're like, we're not leaving the house. Um, that's and, fucked up. And I finally, I, t- I begged Crystal, like, please, because Crystal's like, he has to have an opinion. He has to learn to have an opinion. I'm like, no. You don't understand. We're born with some sort of disability. We don't know what we like, and he and you're torturing him. Like I still have it. Everybody no, seems to like everybody. Someone saying, out there is, it doesn't know what they like either. Everybody is saying that they really do believe that you do know what you like, but you're afraid of being wrong, so you don't choose anything. <laughs> oh, You'd rather just choose nothing than be wrong. I love being wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Ross knows. I don't know. The listeners know. Yeah, they think you're. They, would, this like, is the craziest thing you've ever said on the show. <laughs> they think that. Like, the whole chat room's melting. No, there's Everyone other people is like saying, this. I'm not crazy. I've never yeah. had a day like this before. I've never sat in here... 20 years of almost doing this fucking show. 20 years. No, I've never had them say, Dan, you're not crazy. This is a, this is a big day for me. You, it's like, not that you're not crazy. It's just that now you've been, you know. Dwarf. He's way dwarf. crazy. I can right? say that. Yeah. No, I'm allowed no, no, to say no, dwarf. No, no. Yeah. 
No, it's just one this one crazy this is thing. Really that I dope. This is a fat one. But this it also, is a thick boy. It doesn't affect anybody but myself uh, and the people around me. <laughs> the yeah. loved ones. Just, and everyone around me. Just yeah. everyone yeah. who loves you. They want me yeah. to like it's something. It's a singular problem that affects everyone in the world. Like, th- this happened, <gasps> in, and I, I was just told to lie back in the day. Like, I remember when Crystal was picking out shit for our wedding, and like, which one do you like better? This. Who uh, told you to lie? The invitation. bass player for Casey and the Sunshine Band? <laughs> uh-huh. No, no, but she was like, do you like this invitation or this? Or like, paint colors for the house when we're re- re- redoing our. Sh- which, uh, uh, my, like, uh, granted, do you like for the countertops? This one with the but sword? think about and it. Then I'm like, that one. But normally. I have no opinion. But think about it. Normally, you do have an opinion because you're so worried that what you're going to say is going to conflict with whatever Crystal's going to say that you just give it to whomever no, else. But, but I'm like, which You are, do. I'm if, like, if you took other everybody else out of the equation, you would have an opinion. See, but if if it's uh, because my opinion is like, get the cheapest one, get the one that's going to last longer, whatever. They're like, no, no, no. Crystal's like, which one? Which color do you like? That's and I'm, I'm like, I'm, well, and that's I'm, what I'm like, I don't know which color I like. If I'm not with food. They were doing like Max had this thing or ask your parents like five questions uh, and then they were like and they had to answer. I don't even know. talk to my daughter. She <laughs> don't ask me shit. And then uh, Max was like, Dad, what is your favorite food? <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh. oh. You then, should have said <laughs> true blood patriot pussy. That's the only answer. And I literally couldn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally said hot dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> I approve of that answer. That's an American answer. Well, that's what. Uh, who's it's not. It's a lie. It's not my. I, mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I didn't know what to you say. What was the name of the Mormon guy who's running against Obama? Uh, what was that guy's name? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they wore the underwear. Yeah. Oh, Mitt Romney. Yeah, oh, Mitt oh, Romney. Oh. They asked him what his favorite meat was, and he said hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you oh, have his hair. <laughs> you have Mitt Romney's hair. You have exactly his hair. I have his magic underwear. Too. <laughs> Let's take our break. Remember when that was a big deal? Like yeah. this guy wears I weird want those underwear. underwear. I wear weird underwear. You know what I wear? Like all the time to sleep in those manscape boxers. They're so soft. Remember that when there was like a month's coverage about the fact that Barack Obama wore a brown suit? Remember <laughs> yeah, that? Or a helmet while a bicycle one. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this guy wore a helmet. Yeah, look at this nerd. <laughs> Remember when our, our guy just. <laughs> they, were, they were like, black nerd alert. <laughs> and they show a picture of him riding his bike. What was the guy? Uh, the Howard Dean. He's like, look at this guy yell. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, yeah. he was excited. <laughs> and like, he was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just play that. Yeah. And they were like, <laughs> let's get him fired. <laughs> he <won't. laughs> or could, he, could he help the world? No one will know. Just play that. <laughs> Who cares? Fuck it. Like, play the sounds. I'm not voting for someone who yells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the weird dude. You yell like a gay bird. I'm not voting for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't vote for him. <laughs> well, could he, does he have any good ideas? Fuck his ideas. I don't even want to get that far. What's his idea? Right hot dog. <laughs> it's like, fuck everything. Just ruin everything. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Let's uh, take a break. Oh, shit. Um, the name of the band is... Oh, man. This is brand new. It came across my desk. I, I very much like it. It's a really weird the name of the band is guppy the name of the song is something i wouldn't urge you to do it's called texting and driving we'll be back with more a mediocre time right after this one eight four four T O M N D A N. let's take some phone calls maybe texting and driving and driving and texting texting and driving and driving and texting Sitting in my parked car crying I'd rather be texting and driving Texting and driving and driving and texting I'll be arriving while driving while texting Why would they let a like me Operate heavy machinery Don't know And I'm 
driving and driving and texting texting and driving and driving and texting sitting in my parked car crying i'd rather be texting and driving nice to meet you enchanté i'm texting you with my eta me and your mom have friendship bracelets texting your dad a curated playlist texting god in my Knock, knock. Who's there? Squirt. Squirt who? Squirt is pee. You dumb rednecks. <laughs> right about now, you are listening to the incredible... Hey, mediocre time with Tom and Dan, who kindly remind you that squirt is pee. I was a DJ in 2015. I had the headphones, had my name on the big screen. What were you looking for on all of these dance floors? Nobody found it, they still paid me anyway. You were a DJ in 2015. You didn't know it, but that's what we thought of you. You had your finger on all our emotions. You always press it at exactly the wrong time. So many DJs in 2015. So many people mistaking pleasure for love. So many chances to revive the 60s. So many people just did the drugs.
Ah, welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, huge thank you to thedangerbrain.com. Yeah, man. If you're looking for any branding, I know uh, Danger Brain just did some uh, political shirts. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, This is our third year, or, yeah, third time doing these political yeah, shirts. which means we've made it through three presidential cycles. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. I guess we uh, maybe we started, because it hadn't been 12 years, uh, but the maybe we the first time we did it, it was in the middle of a, you know, or something, you know, because it... I don't remember. It's yeah, so yeah. hard to remember all of that, man. I kind of hate that aspect of what we do that I feel like if it were any other job, maybe we would be able to retain the memories a little bit better. But because we like, yeah, yeah. Put we're emphasis talking about so, yeah, because it's almost like because we're putting emphasis on it and talking about it, like it makes it easier to forget. Well, I, I remember because I was a listener back then, so I remember Dan. You're a it was you were a big Carter guy, and Tom, you were pushing for <laughs> yeah, Reagan. I was a Carter guy. You were pushing for Reagan, and I'm then the whole hostage thing happened. for humanity. Oh, he he was instrumental. And Tom, that was, was all Carter. I remember Tom's whole bit about how Reagan like was just so much better than Carter because of the hostage thing. <laughs> yeah, he had absolutely. A song about it and everything. <laughs> TheDangerBrain.com yes. for anybody that needs branding. You might just need a refresh, which means mm. they take your existing brand and they just make it yeah. better, make it more modern. So get a hold of them and tell Sebastian we said Sebastian, hello. have you ever made like a real brand, like an actual like cattle brand? Like maybe, I don't know, for a black fraternity or <laughs> very something? Very popular. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's very popular in the alt <laughs> porn community. You see a no lot of shit. girls that have like one in their chest really? area. Really? Chest brand. brand. And then what they'll do is they'll... They'll let it heal, and then they'll go and get, like, an, an ornate tattoo. Okay. Like, kind of radiating out of it to give it more of, like, a gothic or, like, medieval kind of a vibe. Uh, yeah, I mean, not my thing, but. Mid-late 90s at UGA, you were not in a black fraternity if you did not have a bicep brand. Yeah, like you, they, need, and you needed the, that. That was the deal. Keloid? keloid like, yeah, like exactly. Like, how black yeah. people's skin will scar yeah, in a specific way, like. And yeah, then, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know, like, but yeah, that was like a thing for a minute. Mm -hmm. Do people still brand themselves at all? I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, you, occasionally. Yellowstone brought it back <laughs> a little bit, uh, but well, theirs was loyalty to their uh, cowboy cult or whatever, right? Yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. You get branded to by the, the Yellowstone, and there's the only way out is they uh, boot you off the cliff or whatever. <laughs> they boot, why couldn't you just cut the brand off? No, no, no. I always no. respected that more. Like it'd be like to me, I'm just like, if you want to be in Team Tom and Dan, we'll brand you. And if you want to mm -hmm. leave, I mean, you can leave, but we're gonna take a Rambo knife and cut your brand <laughs> off. We're not gonna kill you. That's insane. Maybe, kill you? You don't need to get killed. Maybe well, you've like, seen too much. Biker tats. You know how like if you leave the gang, you just gotta get your tats blacked out, or else they'll string you up in the garage, like on uh, the, the fucking TV show. Oh but yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. You all can, the cool TV shows. Maybe you can just get like a giant like square <laughs> brand and just over brand it, and just like have a whole <laughs> block of a brand. It's just you know? like I think it would be hard to heal, right? Like that's the thing that I would worry yeah, about. Yeah, well, beats like the shit out of your biker buddies flying you with chains. <laughs> <they're> like, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> So, Ross, I'm curious, yes. have you ever done any internet uh, detective work? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, every once in a while, like, uh, you know, I was a troll for a long time, so that's kind of oh, a okay, sideline right, of, like, right, trolling. Yeah. You do a little bit of looking stuff up and trying to find stuff out. Yeah, you know, I never think of you as being a troll. Oh, yeah, you I, know I was. I do, <laughs> you know, but I never, yeah. I don't think of that. Yeah, Like, thanks, that was uh, a very long time ago. Shout out to my buddy Mickey, talking me out of that hole a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> We're a troll at heart, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a great t-shirt. <laughs> troll at heart? I would wear that. It was, like, Yeah, that's amazing. You Reformed take, troll. You can take the troll out from under the bridge, but you can't <laughs> take the bridge out of the troll. <laughs> so, uh, and I put this on the BDM page last night because I it never You know you throw people for a loop when you do that? Like, everybody's like, he's yeah. getting a divorce? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, uh, like, he doesn't know. Like, yeah. And again, it's innocent. <laughs> I do know it's innocent with you. Yeah, yeah. But I also read it, and I'm like, I know what it means. I know you you're just don't like people asking know the question. me better by that listening no one, to me for no one knows what you are if you've listened to me for as long i mean you there's nothing more on that entire good. listenership that you can't even make a decision <laughs> on whether or not what do you like no, no, well, i don't know you, that favorite color hot dog if you ask me my favorite you just color told everybody hot dog i couldn't 
if you lie detector. Gray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gray hot dog. No, 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 no. Gray but, hot dog. But I like blue as much as I like green. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's just uh, no different. Because you you're afraid first. of hurting <laughs> green's feelings. <laughs> no, no, it's just nothing. You're it's afraid nothing. of hurting green's feelings. No, anyway. We'll move on. Or so, does the audience know you so well that when you reach out at all, they just assume you're drowning? <laughs> like, that's <laughs> obvious. But they always assume it's a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they always assume it's a divorce. Yeah. They also thought you were a That I understand why they assume Volunteers who do a lot of asking for volunteers. Volunteers and divorce. <laughs> Those are my two favorite things. So, uh, anyway, the, uh, the I hear a lot of people like you know they called you the disengaged enigma. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I asked BDMs this, and by the way, none of them gave me a good answer. Uh, well, was, that's not well. Be nice, yeah. God Lord. And because what I was looking for is how are people doing you didn't internet ask that. detective work. But you, you would think someone would be like, oh, this is kind of what you do. Like, so you, you hear people like, oh, the Internet detectives, like the true crime people. They're on yeah. the Internet trying to find the fucking truth. Yeah. Or they're looking up like Andrea's good at this. We ask Andrea all the time, like, hey, can you look up yeah, this? Look up this wrestler. Make sure he's not a pedophile. <laughs> she's like, he's a pedophile. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Right. He's, here, he's already <laughs> wrestling right now. I was like, is he, he's scheduled, is he? scheduled for our event? And then she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'll text Tom. And I text Tom. And Tom's like, well, what's the gimmicks they use? And I'm like, I don't know. And then it's like, Tom, I'll text the promoter. And then Tom Bob texts me. He's like, the promoter's pissed. You don't want the pedophile. Is. And I'm like, well, we got to get him off the bill or this isn't going to fucking happen. So quit, Did, quit describing real things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't know what people are looking at to find this shit because all I know of is Google, right? But right. you don't think like, okay, so, um, okay, so okay. I want to know when these people got married. I want to see if they got a divorce. You don't know to look in the like public record of whatever – county they would have had their disillusion of their marriage in like that you wouldn't think of that well um okay i'll break it down so sometimes i'll meet Why a person are you dancing? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. so sometimes like uh i'll i'll know a name right and then i'll be like i, I want to find this oh, person. Is, this find, is this to find porn stars no, 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 or no. ex-girlfriends or something oh, like this, no, you know you realize I'm, this sounds real creepy girls no. you went to high school with <laughs> no. that's what he's looking for i'm not like, what are you motherfucker <laughs> I just have to be that goes full animal. No, I, full animal. No, I'm just looking up someone's name and I, uh, I got okay, a name. So, okay, right? let's go. You got I a got, name. You have I a got, name. And then I go to so Facebook. What, what do you want to find out about them? <laughs> right. Because that's the just, thing. Right? I think, Whether well, or not they did for <laughs> No, I just I want to see what, like any information whatsoever about this person. Okay, so yeah, yeah. so you have a name. So and you like, want to just find out what they're up to. So I know Facebook has like pictures of them, and then they put information about themselves. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to follow. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I go and I type in the person's the name, name on Facebook. John Doe. Yeah, well, that's too easy to spell. So <laughs> <laughs> names are a lot harder than that <laughs> for the most part. Oh. Uh, but but. But, oh, I, so you, but no, even but, if I know how to spell it, I yeah. put in the person's name, and then all of a sudden, hit enter. I hit enter, <laughs> and then it drops down a bunch of the yeah. same name. And right? then you gotta go over to people. It, yeah, it, and then it shows a picture. Right. Yeah. And then I look at all the pictures, and then none of them are it. Right. Okay. Because I know what the person looks like. Okay. Right. So then and I you're look like rats foiled again. And then I'm like, that's all I got. And then I'm like, it's uh, this person is gone forever. And there's no and there's no way for me to ever find this person. <laughs> and, and, the the, and then I convinced myself that the uh, the reason I was looking for them in the first place is nonsense. And I never will find Are them. You talk yourself out of being horny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a goddamn it. It's not about always being a horny. Well, it is for me, man. It is <laughs> and then for I, me. And then I'm like, live your own life. But dude. then I'm like, there are inter there are people that are claimed to be internet detectives that find right. whoever they want, and then they know everything about the person, and then they know yeah. all this shit. I'm like, well, how the fuck do they do that? Probably by trying more than one thing. <laughs> <laughs> but then. Well, it's, if it's not coming up a face, I've gone to Google, put the name no. in, and then it doesn't well, work that's either. Not, you're, that's not gonna... you're skipping right over the number one uh, high school ex girlfriend uh, search tool, and that's Instagram. You got Instagram okay, search. In okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've tried Instagram. Sometimes the name is wrong. But then, so that's what I was like. Okay. They, they, and then you went to Google, and here's the problem with Google yeah. Google's been around so long, it's pay for play now. Like your first. 
your top Google results for anything, whether it's just a name or whether it's like a corporate um, product or something, it's going to be whoever paid the most to have that top search. Because the sponsors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. SEO. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. And, and so, yeah. the, the, but then there's a million pages. Are you just go through page by page? So I you got to get you specific. You type in name, city, anything else you know about them. Um, you do keywords. You get, you get like real specific. And if first, you, last city. Sometimes I do first, last city. Uh, place of w where they work like if they worked for Hertz rent a car you'd be like John Doe uh, you know Danville Miami or Miami okay, Hertz. Yeah. anything and then, all information yeah. you and know then it'll about pull them. up all these articles it'll be like oh we did an interview with the manager of that Hertz in Miami and then I'm like I oh, find him find out a little few more information there oh he was in Hialeah he wasn't here and then you and then you go search in that area. You've refined and, your search. And even it. then, you're starting to narrow in, but it's still fucking bullshit pay-for-play stuff. It's like, well, if you want to learn more about John Doe in Miami, we'll just pay us 10 bucks, and we'll tell him everything we know about him. What you really need to get off of Google, go to a different search engine and do all this or shit. Or you use, like, Spokio. You can use, like, so Spokio. Okay, so now you're uh, and mentioning then things I don't even know. And then some Spokio. Spokio. Spokio is <laughs> <laughs> a magical fairy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, I think it's a website. See, I think it's called Spokio, and you go in there and you type in like if you type in their email address, it'll find you every single thing they've ever signed up for online with okay. that email address. See, now and you're then, giving me details that I pay. wanted. Then you can pay. I've never done it. Okay, but so. I think you can purchase it. It's almost like buying a background check online. You can buy a. I guess you could do. That. I've seen it before. I've never done it, but they have those things where you put in the person's email address, and it'll say like. Their Facebook page, their Instagram, it'll say all their connections. It'll say, like, hey, if you want to do a background check on this person, give us $65 and we'll send you everything we have on them. Okay. Like, every single thing we have on them. I've never done it, but I've seen it. All and right. We're just talking about legal options right now. You know, you got a lot of cops that listen to this show. You get one of those That's cops, true. slip them, like, a lifetime BDM membership, get them to look them up in, like, the database, too, get that fucking print out. That's, that's all the info. So, the, the, I'm asking. I've never done that either. That sounds like fun. Why'd you oh, cross your fingers when you said that? <laughs> no, I really haven't. I wish I had. That well, would be fun. that would have been a lot easier than what we did back in the day. Uh -huh. did you be Chasing IP addresses and phone oh, ID dude, numbers. Did you, you had a folder. Yeah, but nobody, no, not one person would ever give me like the real shit from the cops. I wanted some crooked cops, man. Uh -huh. Well, it would have made it so but, easy. But the internet now has more than the cops know, right? I mean, um, because no, them cops got databases. Dude. I think they yeah. have the real, like they got the, they well, got the, just criminal yeah. record. But if you have no criminal record, then the, they got nothing. Right? Yeah, but like, it, it, but they have they're everything. just going to Google too. I, I think they, they do. I think some of that as well. But then and they, some of those aren't updated either, so I'll retract that. And they probably have access to better websites and stuff too. They probably they got like super Google. See, that's mm -hmm. what I, they be, you know, the Spokio, like Daniel mentioned Spokio, because like here, let I, me see if that's what I'm it's asking. Called. Like, what are the standard practices for internet detectives? Like, I want to know if they're like yes, yeah, like here's one putting someone's name where they uh, here, the last to employer. You? you want me to do you? Like um, uh, at Tom and. There. Yeah, yeah. No, my information comes and up. And then uh, see, it does crazy. this little search, and it starts checking. It's searching 120 different networks. I mean, and I don't even think that this is a good one, but I'm just giving you an example okay, of yeah. kind of what you were talking about. And we can tell this is true because you definitely signed up for cuckoldfilms.com. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that that's one's, a go. Uh, I think that one came in. Uh, let's see here. It's Do the funniest category oh, for to me. <laughs> I didn't know. You, sub you subscribe to Dr. Bob Premium. <laughs> um, Get the spoon uh, No, it, it had no results for you. Really? Yeah. That's weird because my information is so public that uh, there's never I've never hidden anything. <laughs> is that the email you sign up for stuff with though, or is that just a uh, do you just receive I don't sign up, email with that? I don't sign mine. up for most. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 exactly. I, say, I sign up for everything, <laughs> yeah. but because yeah. of the company, you know, like that stu all the stupid AIs that we use, all the dumb little if we, you know, if it's some dumb little thing that's tech that I brought you, I put my name in a database. Okay, I'm gonna every day. I get uh, an alert that the dark web, they're like, sold your information again. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Whatever. Come get it. I'll, uh, I'll admit to something. Uh, oh, there's I, nothing for me? When I worked in radio, I signed up for so much stuff under drunkie at WTKS that I could no longer <laughs> use my email <laughs> because yeah. it got spammed so much yeah. that it was impossible for me to determine what it new email. It was unusable. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> you, you were getting, I remember this, you were getting yeah. hundreds a yeah. day. And it would just it, it would freeze my email <laughs> uh, at a point where I was just trying to delete. I couldn't delete fast enough. <laughs> Try That's that one. I just stop using Try it. that email. <laughs> Isn't that what AI is doing to the internet? 
I think so. Yeah, it's just uh, making it uh, with unlimited garbage. That uh, I think so because I told you guys I think uh, a couple weeks ago about how I had a. I'm pretty sure I was talking to a robot about a T-shirt I ordered that things were wrong. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah like, the robot T-shirt. And dude, they emailed me back like right away, and I was like, man, their customer service is on point. But then I realized like every time I email, they'd email right back right away, and it was. It was always a different name. It was like from David, from Rebecca. From, it was just always a different name, and I was like, either they, either the weekend has like a hundred thousand people working <laughs> his email, like responding, or this is a fucking robot. That's, yeah. That is how they do Tesla uh, customer service. It's, it's every man for himself. It's, it's like. When my okay, like when I had a, a roadside issue and I needed a tire, like when you make a claim, you'll get like this is Jerry, and like he'll answer. He'll be like, okay, we'll check on that, and then you'll get another person that comes back and is like, all right, I checked on it for you, and the tow truck should be there in five minutes. But this is Carrie. Yeah, and it's like all these different. Is I don't it a know, human? I, I, I could. I, nah, how nah, how nah. would I know? Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. all sign it like a different. So it seems as if they're either robots, you know, or I mean, some humans getting the message, or somebody's getting called. I'm guessing. For me, <laughs> if, if the tow truck driver, you know, I can't even say that anymore. Can I? <laughs> now, well, you know, it's funny. I is don't it, know. Like, Daniel, honestly, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Daniel has a can't story uh, that we were going to talk about today. That's based on the, uh, this, a, you know, AI taking over everything, and uh, and we've talked about it a little bit, but now it's called maximum overdrive. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Right. The um, people, uh, you know, uh, publications have been using AI to send like celebrities, different people like uh, questions so that they can fill out the questions so they could write an article, an AI article about them yeah. huh. uh, for just content for these unlimited, uh, you know, websites filling the Internet full of garbage. Yes. I mean, even the email I got about this was AI generated. Yeah. Like everything about I, I, I don't think I dealt with one human. And so, and we've talked to other comedians that have been getting these lists of questions to fill out, and then they're like, "I'm not doing this shit." And so Daniel got one, a list of questions. So well, they tried or, to they they appear they like appealed to my like they kind of tugged on my heartstrings a little bit, like with a something that was very human. They were like, "We got we got um, your name came up as a suggestion for a person that we would like to interview about." Like digital entrepreneurship uh -huh. from Peter von Taborski from Scotch and Good Conversation. I was like, oh, okay, that would make sense because I know him, right? Yeah. I don't. I think it just like he may have put my name in there, but the email, everything that I got was like, I got an email from I believe a robot asking like robot questions about what I do here at TND Media and for a mediocre time and for a corporate time for and Tom and Dan. Yeah. It asked me my career. It had like maybe fifteen questions. And for what publication? For a it? for a publication known as Canvas Rebel. Okay. It's a magazine. <laughs> All right. And it's like an online magazine. I looked it up, went to the website. It looks very nice. It's like I have no reason to believe it being anything other than it's fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> and uh. if it takes me a little bit of time, I'll do it. But in the middle of it, I'm realizing that every question they're asking me, I was like, these are all AI generated questions. So I told Tom, I said. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to have AI answer. I'm just right. going to like, but then the more <laughs> yeah. I think about it, like, so I did. I had AI answer all of its questions uh -huh. knowing, because I made a profile about me in my uh, chat GPT profile. Like I have, I filled it all out. It knows about Tom. It knows your position, my position, how we own the company 50, 50. like uh, they, yeah. you it, gave it information. I gave it yeah. information because they say, if you want to really use it, you give it information. It knows our address. It knows how, what we do. It knows the size of the building. Like it knows all the things. Maisie actually prefers this thing. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure she does. Yeah. So then I just like gave it the question and then it filled out all the questions. The only thing it did get wrong Oh. which I will read to you. Um, it says, back in 2009, this is one of its answers, back in 2009, I was deep into radio, running a morning show, a big name on air and all that jazz, but my heart was also in audio production and I had my own home studio. So my assistant, Tom Van, and I started mm, messing <laughs> around with what? podcasting. What part was wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you call me your assistant? Yeah, well, it may have been. Were you not an intern? <laughs> did you or did you not? I got it this time. There he, was, he nailed it. it there was two guys in that booth. One of them had access to sliders. One of them had one phone to pick up. Which one were you? <laughs> he 
did. He, he, <laughs> I think Ross did get it right. I thought long and hard about that and why AI would get that wrong. And the reason I got it wrong is I don't think it understood that when I did. You were my intern, so it just went ahead to make it sound fancier. <laughs> it was like your assistant. It was like there's, I've never had a fucking assistant ever in my life. There's a case to be made to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Again, what? look at look at this side of the room and how much is going on, and then oh, look at hold on. look at how fucker. much you don't know. Look at how much stuff Tom has on his desk. Look at all this shit I wrote down. <laughs> Dan what? has literally a whole Radio Shack on his desk, and Tom has one scrap of wet paper. But what? So what did I do though, Ross? What did I do? Because I took AI questions, I gave the AI questions to AI. AI wrote the questions, and then AI sent the email back to us. Yeah, and it's publishing an article. <laughs> so yeah. What is that? And and then it's, it's a nothing. You know, if a steam shovel digs a hole and there's a hole there, you have to fill in. Are you going to fill it in by hand? No, you get a steam shovel and you fill <laughs> it in, right? This so, makes perfect sense. So this told me that the entire internet is just going to be soon yeah. filled with unlimited uh, because this can is it get filled up? It, it's going to be generating so, all, everything we're going to see is all going to be. Is that the point they AI talk about the grand AI singularity? What is that? The, I was just reading an article. There are like these weird Facebook groups now that are all just bots, and so like some bot created this group. It just added a bunch of bots, and there's threads that are like it N makes word, a, n word, n word, <laughs> n word, n word first. It makes some kind of post, and then a thousand bots respond. There's millions of likes and comments and stuff, but it's literally just all bots responding to each other. And it's <laughs> yeah, it's there's weird. A, a, a bot that's like a digital haunted house. <laughs> yes, right. Like that's scary as fuck. Like yeah. when the bots are talking Correct. to each other, and we're not there. What the yeah. fuck are they talking what about? Are they... We, we got to get in those rooms and monitor these because conversations. They, they don't need to eat, to sleep, whatever. Just they talk all night. Like, just like. My sister. I was gonna say my sister. My sister. I've never told you that. <laughs> you're, you're making up people don't know you. You don't even have a sister. <laughs> yeah, you've just, never even had a sister to reference. Like just like my daughter. <laughs> but so, it, like so, that does lead to the question. That's scary of, as fuck, Ross. W will the internet get to a point where? Uh, because uh, the the AI can just talk. What if it gets so crammed up with AI talking to each other that we can't even use it? I'm like, yeah. Google, turn the lights on. They're like, sorry, not enough room. Yeah. Dude, All junk. Dude, I'm telling you. N-word first. I, <laughs> I think Neil deGrasse Tyson said that we'll get to a point where there will be so many deep fakes and so much AI talking to yeah. each other stuff that the, that'll become the entire internet, leaving it useless. We have to blow it up. And then we'll and go back over. to, we can't even use the goddamn thing. Then because we go back to writing on walls. <laughs> all be for writing on walls with crayons. Neil Just deGrasse Tyson unlimited. also said that due to physics, Spider-Man would like shit on every downswing. <laughs> so that guy's a real weirdo. Like you can't listen to everything he says. Holy awesome! <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. Like, oh. What? <laughs> I'm just, if there's Facebook pages that are made by AI and that have all AI only just commenting, all populated, yeah. all populating like and that. talking to I gotta talk get in one of those too. Yeah, right. I, wanna, zero. I wanna get in one and just hear what they're talking about. Oh shit! No, well, you know what? That implies that because there's a thing called the Turing test, whereby like humans apply this thing called the Turing test to decide whether or not they're talking to a human or a robot. Uh -huh. That's like in the so that implies the existence of a reverse Turing test where the robots. We'll be trying to figure out whether or not you're a human being trying to infiltrate their robot-only Facebook group. I just asked <laughs> our AI here at the studio. Uh, I don't know if Ross has even interacted. You? Oh, yeah, you have. You've interacted with Hard Drive, right? I don't think so. Oh, so we have an intern now, Hard Drive. He's our AI Your assistant. assistant. Mm -hmm. And we're going back to what we originally... We had News Robot. <laughs> we had News Robot way back in the day. I had to write everything he fucking said. 17 years yeah, ago. Yeah, but now you don't have to write what they say. Now they <laughs> say things back to you. I said, do you think AI will reach singularity? and kill us all and he says AI reaching singularity a point where it surpasses human intelligence is a popular topic the outcome largely depends on how AI is developed and managed with proper regulations and ethical guidelines the aim is to prevent harmful outcomes not an AI uprising from the Tom and Dan Studio newsroom, I'm Hard Drive, the black teen robot intern. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He he's turned a, he's himself a, into a black teen? <laughs> well, he wa yeah, he can be anything he wants. <laughs> okay, all right. Like, you don't, you can't even, like, he. yesterday he was a biker. Well, um, that doesn't give me any sort of hope because uh, res humans and responsibility don't mix. <laughs> like, if someone's going to be irresponsible with it. Well, people already are. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, you're already seeing people. You, that's where the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taylor Swift deep fakes came. I mean, it's already... It's happening.
Like mm. it's just keeping it in check. Yeah, we're just gonna have to live in that world no matter what. Um, I mean, in a weird way, we already are, right? Like, we live in a world where there's so many things that humans can get a hold of and kill each other, and you just have to kind of hope that you either hang out with the ones that are more responsible with the things. Like, we live in a world where it's super easy to make fake $20 bills, so we have counterfeit ink pens, you know? Like, we'll develop countermeasures like we always do. Um, So this kind of goes along (laughs) the the same lines as uh, weird internet things. Uh, Daniel... Uh, he gets, he was, you know, we were both laughing this week about, uh, businesses that fight with, uh, their customers online <laughs> publicly. Uh, oh, so it's one of my favorite things. And uh, Daniel was showing me that, uh, you know, and lots of businesses do this, especially small businesses, you know? Yeah. Like they get a bad review and then the owner gets personally involved Yes, and, and, then and then he's upset. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then he's just fighting. But the, the problem is he's doing it publicly for all of us to watch. Uh, which is kind of uh, like that vegan cafe, the heirloom cafe where well, it was like a vegetarian diner, I guess that they had. And they were like, like, I guess when, I guess you can maybe kind of expect, like, it sort of makes sense to me that a vegetarian diner or a vegan diner that when they started adding meat, that like vegetarians and vegans are known to be like, excuse me, I want to uh, give you my opinion on you adding meat <laughs> to my favorite restaurant, right? So I could see maybe the owner's point in that you maybe should have expected to know that, you know, like vegans are, they're outspoken, I feel like, across sure. the board. That's the yeah. stereotype. You're in that business and you're going to have to live with those people. So this particular person just said like, this is just a like a lady who commented saying, the original post was she was uh, basically saying, I wish you hadn't added meat. I probably won't be going as much as I used to. I liked it better when it was full vegan. Oh. In which case the person, like all these people started like attacking and then the owner said you are unprofessional and rude. You don't get to s- decide what we fo- uh, what we serve. Your precarious sensitivities, laugh out loud. When people are rude, they don't get to decide how rude your response is. Simple. We'd rather go out of business than serve vegan Nazis <laughs> like you. Cancer culture from zero contributors will happily close than serve faux, compassionate, egomaniac virtue signaler. Yeah. Are you being sanctimonious from your cell phone made by slaves? Go fuck yourself. Oh. No one cares about your opinion. Namaste, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome, dude. It's so angry and, and it's like you should like I mean, I find I'm like it's such a a mean, horrible yeah. thing to do. You're gonna ruin your entire restaurant because <laughs> you're so fucking mad. I love. It makes me laugh because it's like they might have good food, they might have good staff, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter because I'm crying. It's... The owner's gonna flush it down the toilet. So like, oh, I, it's great. I have a different opinion on this <laughs> than I, I did. Like, I would say even a year ago, and uh, so. One, like a year ago, I would have said, what Can I give you one more, please? Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is what says, sweetie, you are not a guest. You are my, you are my, de- you, my dear, are an asshole. Just for the future, you can go online and say cunty things Whoa. and then act all betrayed when you are uh, uh, summarily dismissed. I'll tell you now because your parents never did. No one cares about your opinion. Go fuck yourself. This is our ethos. <laughs> I like that's hard. You're on the line, right <laughs> in the fucking sand. These are my two. This guy does my two favorite things in a, in a shitty internet post, which is like making tons of assumptions and like clearly using a thesaurus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going through and clicking yeah. each word to make it better. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've done that. I. I would have said, I still kind of feel this way, like, uh, as, you know, the business owner, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, you're making yourself look worse, and, uh... You're you know, very good about this, though. Fighting with someone on the internet. You're really good about and, just, like, no matter what, you'll yeah, just be like, Just keep scrolling. Or, like, what, yeah, what, and, like, I understand it's your business and stuff, but this makes it worse, and it could actually make uh, your business worse by attacking this person, because other people could be like, whoa, this is, like, aggressive. Oh, in, in I don't want to go there. It, 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 in this instance, it's pretty positive it did make their business worse these are three months prior to the last post that i think they put up yesterday which is the business is closed oh. so the kicker <laughs> of this oh. is that the owner of this business na- uh, like she name drops in a lot of these a woman deborah that she thinks is like behind a lot of the reviews she doesn't understand that she's the one making the reviews by by like replying Engage. in such a, yeah, yeah. a horrible yes. way mm-hmm. so she put a sign they are closing they're done 
So they are going out of business. So the last, I mean, she couldn't like, even, and I do, I do support this. As yeah. you're dying, <laughs> and this happens a lot in video games, like Assassin's oh, Creed. It happens dude, a lot in and they, Shakespeare. I, and Sha- I love From it. Death when, store, I stab yeah, at thee. I mm-hmm. like the person who is dying to be like one more. Mm-hmm. You know what? You got the best yeah. to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that. So she put up a sign. It says, "We are going out of business." You won, Deborah. <laughs> you won. It says you won, Deborah. It's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. People are like, people are crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're getting your guts pulled out, <laughs> don't scream freedom. <laughs> scream fuck you. <laughs> I do like a good fuck you. Very at the end. Anyway, uh, uh, how so- about <laughs> I got something similar. You guys, may, one of your listeners uh, uh, owns a cafe that was in the totality of the eclipse. Uh huh. And they got slammed during the eclipse. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, just Wait, like it's a little. Is this Chris? I'm not going to name names. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm especially not going to name yeah. his wife's name, <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. may see on a cruise just like the drunkest human being you've ever seen. What's up, Buffy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're fun. They're super fun on a cruise. And uh, and so they, they're tiny little diner. I don't know. I'm going to guess like, I'm like maybe like a 25 person breakfast and lunch type yeah, of diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know. They're good people. Yeah. But they're, they're towns. Awesome. They're in this path of uh, eclipse. Their town's overwhelmed and they're like slammed for the eclipse day, right? And then um, somebody left them a shitty review in the midst of it, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, which I have here. <clears throat> this is from, it's a review by D. Okay. D's left 16 reviews on whatever services, I assume Yelp. Small pancakes. Rather than giving you a check, they hold it at the counter. They don't give you a printed bill. They just tell you the amount. When you ask for the bill, they show you the hand-scribbled order the waitress took. The help there is always freaking out, like they've never worked at a busy restaurant before. One star. I'm sorry, food, two stars, service, one star, atmosphere, three stars. Okay, all That's right. harsh, man. God damn. Uh, and then do you want to hear the response? It's not like sassy or nothing. He's just like, he, uh, uh, we are a smaller town diner with 12 tables. It was a once-in-a-lifetime event with us being in the totality of the eclipse. We're not built for 150 people in three hours, even with weighted staff, uh, even with added staff, particularly when one of them was a trainee because we had somebody quit without notice this week, and it was literally the busiest shift we'll ever have, but we appreciate your review. We might even put it on a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's good. That's yeah. a good answer, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But because he was nice about it, but uh, he's like, nice but it. when you go in hard, and, and he, attack- he, he went, I accept. Here's what happened. You had a complaint. Here's what happened. Maybe these yeah. mitigating circumstances will help explain it to you. Thanks. So, uh, and I'm going to talk more about this on the BDM show uh, because there's uh, we have a bunch of these things that have happened recently with our ARTND, and this is why my opinion has changed, uh, and I think we need to do something about people that uh, are unreasonable. Uh, are you going to let me start writing? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. This would be Christmas <laughs> early, dude. So uh, Me and Ross, please, let yeah. me and Ross do it together. It'd be so fun. We've never had a pet project, Daddy. <laughs> please, please let me work with Ross on this. I've never wanted anything more my life so recently airbnb southern when i said that they offered this pricing thing that you can click on that helps you adjust your price like it basically auto adjust your pricing so you book more right uh we'll lower it for shit back yeah and then it kind of uses you know i'm sure some sort of ai or software that looks at all the prices and all the weekends and then adjust the price. That way it, everything's competitive and then it goes lower on, uh, l- l- you know, yeah. less busy weekends. So you, you just so you constantly get more bookings. Sure. Right. And uh, so with that, the price has dropped certain mm-hmm. weekends down to like a sub ninety nine dollars sometimes. Right. Um, and, uh, and with that brings a better class of people. <laughs> and then traditionally, I mean, and then for whatever reason, <laughs> the $99 oh people, have you checked the sex games? They, they not only love to complain, <laughs> but also love to yeah. try to get their money back in, in oh, any yeah. scenario possible. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. You just invited <laughs> the mega bus to our air. And so it's almost like they oh. walk in and then they're like, how can I get my money back? <laughs> yeah. when, when the, from the start before the, while they're driving there, they're like, I'm getting my money. Yeah. Back. I'm gonna do the old paint <laughs> So, uh, speaking of that, uh, one of the guests, um, like, uh, complained about a paint chip on the door frame of one of the bedrooms, right? Say I, what? Yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, I asked the same question. I was like, what do you mean by like, that? Like, you know, the door frames are painted white, right? Okay. And the house and then, is from 1931 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking right. Earlier old than, No, it's over 100 years yeah, old. Yeah, it's old as shit. But um, so uh, uh, there was a paint chip in the door frame from just like, you know. Oh, like, and, it, and the chip landed in their Cheerios? <laughs> no, no, no. It was just off what? and then exposing the raw wood underneath. What? So like yeah. it was about a quarter size paint chip 
and then uh, like, in the door means. frame. Yeah. Like if the door's closed, you don't see it. Oh, you can only see it if it's opened. And then uh, the person's like, like, our door is open. <laughs> he's like, e- everything's fine except for this. And they sent the picture of the paint chip. And then I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, Doesn't make any sense to me. Don't like. I still don't understand it. And, and were they trying to help? I don't want to be an asshole. Were they trying to be like, oh, it's chipping up there. You got it's rubbing. <laughs> No, Maybe it was just like everything's fine except for this. Did they ask for money back? <laughs> yeah, what did they want from no, that? No, that was like confusing because they didn't want anything back. Maybe it was a start to get something back. I told Crystal just stop uh, replying. <laughs> <laughs> Another person wanted their money back uh, because they claimed that uh, an outlet was loose. Uh, yeah. So like, uh, like it was like kind of loose where it was like you could see where it was coming away from the wall, like where someone Man. unplugged it and then it kind of pulled away a little bit. That's a feature. That's so you can hide your drugs <laughs> with the That's on purpose, sir. And, and then my TV found damn nightstand couldn't watch my kung fu movie. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you know they they started nitpicking a little other things like uh, you know they were like oh there was some sand in the corner of one room of uh, like the, oh that's you know, our beach motif. <laughs> yeah. Like little things where it's like they they you're not in a Howard Johnson you're yeah. in a old Airbnb, Airbnb yeah. house. Let's role play. You you send the email about the paint chip to me <laughs> yeah. and then, oh, and then I'll God. respond. Oh, I'm sorry, All right, this is how I respond. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, everything's fine, but there was this paint chip on the doorway, and I took a picture of it and I sent it to you so you, you can see what this. I'm talking about. I want a picture of every door frame in your fucking house. <laughs> I want to see every door frame in your house and how they are, and if there's one fucking chip, I'm coming over there right now with That's a golf true. club. That's true. You could throw it back on them about yeah. the standards let's of Let's see how house. you live, motherfucker. If you're all upset about my chip, let's attempt to the beam in your eye. I like yeah. that. And, and there's also a thing now, because the people have wanted their entire money back after like they're like, this is wrong, this is wrong, I want 100% refund, uh, because it wasn't up to my standards or whatever. Did you leave? And <laughs> no, no, they, yeah, they never leave. Did yeah, you lay down yeah, in the bed yeah. and go that's, to sleep the and then make they breakfast always, in yeah. the morning? Get through no. the stay, right? yeah, yeah. Because they've been trained that if they do this to other people or other corporations, that they'll just get it. Well, what does Airbnb do, though? Well, this is not to Airbnb, it's to us. Yeah. But Airbnb but, but, has nothing to do with but it. But do we have any recourse? I'm not they, being they already got their money. No, I understand. But yeah. do we have any recourse to their bullshit review? I mean, it's kind of like iTunes. I mean, anybody can go on iTunes and sing, single out anything and just say it sucks, whether it really sucks or not. I mean, like, how, I mean, should well, you be able to verify and be like, it was a paint chip? Fuck if, these guys. If they're like every other online service out there, they're like, you, y'all can't work it out. And then when they grudgingly get involved, they don't do shit. Yeah, they don't do they anything. Just, they yeah. try to blow off both parties. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't got the time. I'm to start <laughs> going back and start getting on negative reviews off. Like I'll I'm sure it. there's a process. I'll do, it while, I'll do it while I'm pooping. You bringing me into Dan? Yeah, yeah. You bring, it, you bring yeah. the well, closers. <laughs> Goddamn equalizers. Well, here's we'll close that shit for sure. If every small business or whatever just started attacking people uh. like this online, <laughs> and even if it hurts their own business, then the future generations we will not it. have yeah, this. We would fix it. <laughs> You're right. We have to overcorrect. We, we have to overcorrect. We, wow. we can. We can help our kids not deal with this but we're yeah. i mean it's gonna ruin our businesses and now, like, yeah. it's all fighting with can we people. do it at the end <laughs> and go just really hard concentrated yeah, at the end like, i feel like i'm watching the gettysburg address this is amazing <laughs> yeah, yeah. This did is you ever amazing. think you'd see this day yeah. oh. did you ever th- I, didn't think, I still don't really believe it because uh-huh. so i'm a little untrusting yeah. no but people have there's been a flag <laughs> waving behind <laughs> I know, there, I know. but i see I know. it look at his hair people have been operating with no repercussions for years and created this culture <laughs> no, no, of people that you could just complain about anything, and all they get is rewarded for it. Like because all the giant corporations, they're just like, just pay them whatever. I don't got, you know, we don't want the bad review. It's yeah, yeah. cheaper, whatever. Like I've heard. There's no recourse that, on most things. Like you just can give, give any review. No. Yelp, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's a wild yeah, yeah. west. No, you know what there is? There's a goddamn AI chat robot for fucking everything yeah, that yeah. you have a complaint about. And I say we go even further. <laughs> oh my god, EJ thinks he got you. Uh-huh. Is this why uh-huh. you were? trying to internet detect? Were no, you no, trying no. to find some of these hillbillies <laughs> or you're trying to like, oh, fuck these hillbillies. I'll no, go no, there. No, I want to no. see what their wives look no, like. What the, the I fu- want to see what the titties on this paint chip bitch looks like. The, the oh, funny part, nice titties. The funny part about this, I have no emotion, so I just move on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just like, I want to go on to the next thing. Like, I have no time. Are you to- fabricating this anger that you seem to have right now? No, 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 because I really do think about okay. this and I feel this way, but I just get, don't. I can't bring myself. You're getting a lot of votes in the chat To room. waste the time to do it myself. But I say you go a step further 
and key their cars, <laughs> find where they wow. live, and then key their cars, uh, and then write, uh, you know, you know, either what do you write? The review that they left. Take a long time. See, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm just saying, if you did, th- if there was really re- showing is too crazy today. Then people Are you out of Adderall. People would be no, I'm double Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but people would stop and think twice before they're like, "Is this real, or am I doing this for pure selfish reasons to get money?" Well, these people, though, I think what you're like even saying though. Are, I think it's to get money. I think it's to scam. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's absolutely. to steal. It's like you're stealing at free that stuff. point. Yeah, yeah. because and you're like, if I complain, I'll give me free stuff, and then who cares? No repercussions. I get free stuff. It's all about me. It should I'm, be. You know, like, you, I don't sh- give a fuck about this Airbnb or this person. Honestly, or- the way you remedy it, like I'm thinking about it, maybe you guys can blow holes in this, but I would say if you get one do- if you get a cent back, you don't get the review. You lose your ability to review if you get a cent back. You see what I'm saying? It's like, because yeah. that doesn't work both ways. I'm not going to give you $50 or, or give you back the cleaning fee or whatever the fuck, and then you still write me a one star and I get double fucked. It yeah. should be you can get you can have you can have a little bit back, no, no, but no, you yeah. lose your power oh, of, of a review. You, no, but I, we paid them off and this is where i uh, feel shamed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I want you to tell me that. Because I gave oh, them $75 Dr. Bob <laughs> premium. <laughs> But I'm part of the problem. But I gave him the seventy-five dollar. I told Crystal I was like, give him the seventy-five dollar cleaning fee back. Well, was it the path of least and resistance then, though? Yes, it was. Did they leave the review? They still? didn't. Well, no, mm. they they didn't leave a review. But that was the. I mean, it's a goddamn. Well, I support that though because that's. The, I feel like that's the trade. Yeah, but they're doing it for the money back, and so it's all become they're stealing my money. Based on the fact that they a path of least resistance. Would it make you mad if I said I didn't want the Airbnb <laughs> anyway? Like I never supported it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm I kidding. Did that. No, that's, not true. that's not true. That's not true no. at all. I'm fucking joking around. What but, if we marry? I don't want people thinking. But that. we created this, and because they now and that person will continue to do this to the end of time because they know the person will give the money to not leave a bad review, and that's the business now. We have to kidnap this person <laughs> and show how them you, the error of their ways. How do you defeat a bully, Tom? Punch him in the you nose. You stand up to the boy. You punch him in the nose. We need to get EJ tracking these people down online. <laughs> find <laughs> out. Gonna scare them. Find out. No. We find out where they. <laughs> where scare they them they have them. <laughs> they haven't punched us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this could be you. You'll be fat like me. <laughs> oh. Look how into Pokemon you can get. Uh, no. No. They haven't punched us in the nose, so there's no nose punching going on. They've left you a bad review. You need to find out where they live and work and get their fucking shit yelping. They are they cli- they're not they're oh leave they're, them a bad review. They're looking for deals on Airbnb. They're not working for like Lehman Marcus or nothing. They're like working somewhere where you can leave a Yelp review. We can't leave a find review them. of the people that stay. I thought we were allowed to do that. We well, can do that, but I'm saying find their place of business and leave that shit a Yelp review. Let me start taking control. Like she, they leave the paint chip, and I'll leave. You put one of theirs in the hospital. You put one of theirs in the morgue. The, the only problem with the that, untouchable. The, the Everybody people, knows that. The only Sean people, Connery. the only people who care about like their Uber rating is, as a passenger is the people who. I like, don't think you get to. Rent after a while, right? If you get enough bad reviews, I don't yeah, think you're yeah. allowed to use the service. But those type of people don't care about the rating and will just sign up with a different name. That's probably so, yeah. true. But yeah. the, but the problem is they didn't leave the public review because they got the money. Yeah, I paid them off. <laughs> you say like that's where so everybody you're the wants. Problem. So, so we got to yeah. stop you from paying. Yeah, them off. but if what I don't pay, do? if I don't pay them off, oh, she's like you. She's emotional. She's yeah. like fuck. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'm the business. Nah, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. You become a, a dog rig. I'm like, yeah. it's better for business. And like, just Sim-sima. give them what they want. Like, I'm all about like mm-hmm. you know, pay the terrorists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you <laughs> are. Like, I just get what I want and move on here. Like, you know. But I, I feel like we should have. Have a no one gets paid stance in America <laughs> or something like we Wait, should, so you want the us to do it first so you can do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want my You want us person. to lead the way on your idea. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's what I, Come on, yeah. guys. Charge in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm the type of general that yeah. I, I, I scream oh. charge. The reluctant and then I'm general. <laughs> you're in a <laughs> bunker. Like, I yeah. stay back. Yeah. <laughs> you're the chill like, general. Yeah. And then everybody goes. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll get up. I'll sweep up behind you. I'm a coming. I'll stab the dead guy. 
guys at the end. I see what I, I see the movies of Game of Thrones. I'll just go around and stab the dead and guys. And you're strong. You need to be up at the front. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't have kill me. I'm the front. so weak. You can't have me at the front charging in there. I can barely walk. Yeah, yeah. Was, was, you, I mean, they're kill me first. Uh, anyway. Tom, oh. you're going to the bunker. You don't need all the body armor. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. I'm taking it. <laughs> all right. Let's take a break. All right. Um, then we'll come back and maybe do dump them out. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I got this got... one news story. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the news story. Are we going to do that when we get back? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. We'll do that. The name of the band. Man, new music from these guys. I love these guys. Thunder Pussy. The name of the song, Fire Breather. Let's rock and roll. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. Show at TomandDan.com for email. You're listening to the industry leader, radio guys turned podcasters, and now the whole town is sucking our dicks. Oh, yeah. You're listening to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to lick our balls, bitch.
I didn't mean for it to happen, but um, he's saying I stopped giving a fuck about two hours ago, and we've done about two hours today, which is like, that's crazy. Uh, Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, Ross, you said you had a story for us. I got a new story for you. Uh, yeah, let's do it. This is uh, super local. I don't. This is kind of my neighborhood, not like exactly where I live, but I, this is. Uh, I'll walk over to this neighborhood to jog once in a while. Okay. Because uh, it's real pretty. It's the Wave View neighborhood of uh, Orlando. All right. uh, if you're not familiar, kind of downtown. It's just what you call, you know, like uh, people say Soto now. Yeah. It's yeah. like kind of on the edge of what you call Soto nowadays. And uh, the Wave View community, their thing, uh, they also this. Uh, they have one. This is a side note. They have one house that has illegally yellow painted their curbs. <laughs> Like, like they painted their own. Yeah, they uh, like old people style. Yeah, and it's funny because it's like it's such a bright yellow. It's obviously not like what the city would paint a curb with, and it's like the curb two feet off of their fucking driveway each way. It's like no, the city would never do that ever. In we had Italian years. neighbors that would paint the front, like they would paint the curb <laughs> and then out, like further out, oh, like, yeah, out into say, the like, street yeah, like, like, like don't yeah. park around here like for real and it be- yeah. it's like and they were italian and they loved it and then these motherfuckers somewhere I thought it looked pretty nice <laughs> they stole well, i'll say they acquired because i don't know how they acquired it right, they right. may have bought it legally i don't know uh they acquired a no parking sign somewhere and there are uh no parking signs in this neighborhood and they're all like sunken in concrete and a level of like six to seven feet above the ground like every parking sign in the world this yeah. one's just shoved in the dirt and it's at like four feet because they had to shove it in the dirt like three <laughs> feet so like there's that going on in this neighborhood but the neighborhood is known for the peacocks yeah that's the big right. draw yes. they got a flock of peacocks and i like my kid goes to high school right there i drive by there are you my kid's got a license now i used to drive by there every goddamn day and it's like crazy, dude. i don't know once once or twice a month you got to like stop and wait for a hundred peacocks to walk in front of your car and it's like it's one of those things that's an inconvenience, but it's always like kind of cool. Like, huh? Look at all them peacocks. That's yeah, neat. Yeah. You know, How like did I've they never. Get there? How do we get the peacocks there? Back in the day, like somebody had peacocks in the yard, and they just started, you know, swarming. And then uh, now they walk around, yeah. and they're just part of that and neighborhood. We're just like, hey, here's our peacocks. Yeah, kid. they're like sandhill cranes. They'll just uh, wander of... around huh. and uh, peck at the floor. They roost in the trees. Did you know that? I did not. Really? They I get up in the trees and roost. Yeah, uh, I've I don't seen really them. know much about them, but. One you know, day I'm, I'm not anti them. I don't really like much like Tom with most things. I don't have an opinion of a <laughs> peacock at all. I feel nothing. But. One day I saw a peacock jump out of a tree and like swoop over my car in like a little glider flight. What? It was so fucking cool. Dude. Are they big amazing. under the feathers? Yeah, yeah, they're beefy. They're, they're like turkey sized. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I've never really gotten close to one. They're loud, I know. They're really loud, yeah. and they sound like they're like uh, being strangled. It's a wild yeah, call. It's, it's a mad. It's a mad sound. And then the big knock on the peacocks is they shit everywhere. Like yeah, the, yeah. a peacock the leaves birds. a mass, but it leaves like a human is it sized the white bird. bird? Dude. <laughs> yeah, like a is. log, a I white don't... log. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I shit white logs, but I heard that if you do as a human, if you got white logs, that's your liver fully shutting down. <laughs> like fun. most hypochondriacs, shout out the hypochondriacs out there, you know that. Like they, I just shivered your bones. You're like walking, you're out like training at the gym, and I shivered your bones because you know. White or chalky gray time. It's I want to meet this person who's like had like a month of white shits and not been considering it a health or problem. Or black. Like. Black, but see, I take black over white. White, you know the, the Grim Reaper's behind you. Black, <laughs> it's just, you, there's blood. You got some blood. You got to go to the doctor. Have you, you've seen like the official scale, right? Like the one to six scale of yeah, yeah. Uh, shits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, a tattoo of it on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I went and got my colonoscopy, the doctor asked me, like, what are you doing right now? But like a one to six scale. And then he read me the description of each one, one by one. And it was like so long. They're pretty like, gross. Yeah, it's pretty good. But anyway, peacocks, it's oh. the white shits. It is, but huge, like a giant white shit. Why do birds shit white? Did we look this up? Because it's, it's acid, it, right? They don't it's have pee and shit together. Yeah, they don't have a pee. Or they don't have a butthole and a pee hole. It's all coming out of the thing called the. And I've already cup. done a rant before about how I'd like to have my pee and poop come out just out of my ass. It, and yeah, hundred no percent has come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm pretty no, sure I've said that. I'm no scientist, but if I mix my pee and poop together, <laughs> it ain't turning white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck's up with that. <laughs> you know? Hey, I ain't no scientist, <laughs> but when you mix my pee and poop together, it ain't. White now, son. You grab your kong fu belt and get on up the road. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, it's got legs. This is new show I'm writing. And it's weird because you do just eat grub worms out of the dirt, so you should have the same poop yeah, as a bird. Yeah. What, what are you? What, yeah, but what white? What the? What is a bird eating that's white? It shouldn't be that. I'm yeah, with you. I'm eat, with you. Yeah. I, I am. I am. For There's every, nothing in nature that's white. I, I really believe. <laughs> what? I really believe that all the animals pee and poo should look pretty. It should be brown for poop and yellow for pee, and that's just. I'm a traditionalist. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I like. White pee. Poop like, mix, and sometimes it's a blob of white, and then there's black in the center. It makes it look like a photo negative egg. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like flamingos eat so much of whatever, shrimp, shrimp, it turns or, them pink. Or, yeah, but they still shit white. <laughs> <laughs> turn yeah. their body pink, and they still poop out white. Oh my god, why not pink? It's like watching Dave Barry being born. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. So, um, the uh, Wayview neighborhood, tons of fl- uh, flamingos. I almost said tons of peacocks. They they wander about. They get in the way. <laughs> Uh, just recently, our city commissioner, Patty Sheehan, got involved. Um, Patty Sheehan. Apparently, Patty Sheehan. The, uh, this news article I'm seeing is citing two homes. And I, again, I've run around this neighborhood. I've never seen these two homes that they're talking about. But Patty Sheehan says that she went to um, one of these houses that complained and that in their yard, uh, the peacock shit was so bad Three inches deep around the yard. <laughs> oh, that's I like that. three, yeah, that's, like a, that's a paint chip person. Like <laughs> He's a three inches God, deep. You'd have, you need some boots. No. You need some waders <laughs> to get through that. Three inches deep was the cited statistic. I don't believe and anything it, on the internet anymore. Well, three inches deep of Kowaka shit? What do you guys fucking know? Have you ever been out to this neighborhood in the Wayview Park you area of Orlando? You want to do a go-to show? I... Again, I run around this neighborhood quite frequently. Go to show. I've seen most of the houses in this neighborhood. Peacock hunters. One, one point or another, like either delivering my kid to school or like we go to Wayview Park quite a bit. They got a nice little fountain. Yeah. They got a little place where you can walk down, and feed the ducks and stuff. Again, I jog around this neighborhood. Too many birds. I've never seen this fucking yard. I've never seen a yard in this neighborhood. This is we're talking. Wait, we're talking can't... minimum like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses up to like some two and three million dollar houses, like yeah. mansions around this fucking park. Giant. That's like that. Three inches thick? Yeah, exactly. That's like that much shit. They're, they're, this is not like, even my neighborhood, Rat House, was a huge anomaly. This is not like a neighborhood where a rat house can take whatever. If there is a house in this neighborhood with three inches of peacock shit all over the yard, it's because they haven't taken action for a number of years. <laughs> with, with, yeah. Is it a 10 by 10 square of three inch thick shit? They, or a, is it a little blob of three inch thick shit? You see what I'm saying? She hands it all over the yard to the point where like they have to like, they, they track it in and out of the house at a certain point. And again, you got to shovel it so like, like snow. Me and my wife were listening to this story and we, I went and I was like, okay, well, hey, there's that one we drive by that one house right and there's always like a hundred fucking peacocks on the lawn right like and we both were like yeah that one house right when you get past where the greek place used to be there's that one house where the peacocks are there's a tree they like and they're fucking always on this lawn like a hundred deep i was like let's just go drive by that because if there's a house that's buried three inches in shit it's that house. They're always there. Yeah. There's oh. always a giant flock yeah, yeah. of. We You're go doing by old school detective work. Yeah. I mean, there is like you see those cars on the internet that were parked underneath a bird tree. Oh, the for pigeon Jordan. cars. Yeah. <laughs> and then their entire. Car. I think those are fascinating. I mean, it's like making a, a drip castle at the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is a lot of shit. It's like, you're like, whoa! It looks like those candles I used to have at old school <laughs> Italian restaurants that my dad would take me to, and I'd look at them, and it'd be all different colored wax, and I'd be like, that is art. <laughs> and that shit took years. I was a young boy. As a young yeah, yeah. Billy child, I would look at that and I'd be like, it's yeah. fucking art, man. Yeah. One of my neighbors has like a 60 foot lychee tree, and when the lychees come in ripe, every blackbird in Florida. Oh, I thought you were gonna say black person, and I was gonna have to ask <laughs> you to leave. <laughs> every blackbird in Florida comes to our neighborhood, sits in this lychee tree, and eats lychees, and then flies around our neighborhood and just shits lychee shits everywhere. Y'all wanna see the lychee say, yeah. <laughs> and, I've I've seen my car covered in shit by lychee birds uh, bird shit before, but like never three inches deep. Uh, yeah, so yeah. It, like, it gets like a little bit of coating. I go fucking clean my car, right? So we went and the we, chat room saying we're saying it wrong. It's lychee. My bad. Lychee, uh, lychee. So we did a little Scooby Doo, and and I was like, let's go look at that yard where we know we've seen a million peacocks a million times. We went to that yard. Just it's a regular yard. It's clean. And so like at that point, I'm like, this is suspect zero as far as I'm concerned. If this if this yard can keep their yard clean of peacock shit, anybody can do it. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this yard covered three inches deep. 
And then the um, so this article, uh, the some you know, Wesh or somebody put this article out, uh, quoting Patty Sheehan. By and, the way, Daniel, never call me a hillbilly again. <laughs> but Ross takes his family to go on investigate <laughs> 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 bird shit. Yeah. Bird yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're like, come on, guys, let's go I see. Even, I don't even know what you call that. Three is a bird shit. It's right around the corner. <laughs> oh wait, there's a three inch around the corner. Right, right. Get your bird shit ruler. <laughs> bird shit ruler. We're gonna see how deep it is on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so uh, the initial article uh had this quote from patty sheehan that people reacted poorly to and uh in a little bit of 1984-ness like this quote has been basically removed from the internet except for your buddy bungalow or uh, has it still in his blog <laughs> all right okay. so from bungalow.com it's the only place i can find this quote right now patty sheehan said it and it was quoted extensively a couple days ago quote Everybody's feeding them, and more you feed invasive wild animals, the more you're going to have. We went from having 15 to 20 peacocks to having almost 100. So it's not that big a deal if they're dispersed throughout the neighborhood, but they have tended to congregate into yards, end quote. So her thing was that there's a lot of them, and this house is covered three inches in shit, is like kind of down the street from the people that feed them. And so they, that's they're negatively impacted in, in, in a way that other people aren't. Yeah. But I don't, did you guys catch the phrase in there? That at first I was like, oh, they're going to be killing these peacocks. She calls them invasive wild animals. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. And here in Florida, right. yeah. when we label Cuban tree frog, yeah, yeah. python, or whatever we yeah. label invasive, we go out into the woods and we kill it with boomsticks. Oh. So, like, when she said invasive wild animals, I assumed that was code for we're going to go kill us some peacocks. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and a lot of people also thought that, too, because that is... In Florida, we say invasive wild animals and we want to kill it and extinguish it sure. and get it the fuck out of the swamps and stuff. Yeah. So there were a number of wild rumors floating about, like the first, and uh, Patty Sheehan had to address the news again the next day uh, about some of these rumors. There was a rumor that there were men wandering about the Wadeview neighborhood putting peacocks into plastic trash bags and sending them to the dump. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alive? <laughs> I like them just standing in a bag. No, I like crazy. that they're in the bag because normally you cover a bird cage. They'll calm down. You put them in the bag. That thing gets still as can be. It's nice. It's nice yeah, and dark yeah. in there. And it just stands there. They gently lay it in the trunks. They drive yeah. them to the dump. They set the bag there. It just stays in a bag until it's up again. <laughs> Stupid ass bird. And it eventually like spreads its tail feathers in the bag. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> So the, now fly. there's rumors that people are killing the peacock. I assumed when they said put them in a bag and send them to the dump, I assumed it was like a Friday the 13th part five when Jason Pilk took the two campers in the oh, bag that's the and just like <laughs> whams yeah. them against the tree. Yeah, you against know? The train. That's I the assumed that's what was happening. But so no, Patty Sheehan had to address this rumor because apparently what was happening, they hired um they hired some professionals. Apparently the city hired some professional uh, peacock wranglers of some sort. And what the system is, is you catch the peacock and you put it in a pillowcase like a snipe <laughs> <laughs> so these guys they weren't wandering around putting these peacocks in plastic bags to send to the dump they were putting them in pillowcases to wait there were real them. men putting peacocks in pillowcases <laughs> that is apparently according to our city That's commissioner what you do? patty sheehan that is the system they put them in pillowcases and they send them off so well, i think a trash bag would be better actually come to think of it also, if you I was, have pillowcase phobia though because of the pillowcase band, I do. But also, <laughs> like, I could you? I don't think you could fit. It'd have to be one of those long pillows. Yeah, and Andrea won't let me have those. I want those. That's what rich people have. You don't have a long pillow, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I got an old ass yellow pillow with blood all over, and the <laughs> tiny ones. I got the tiny regulars. Get I don't some... even have a hotel size. Hotel size like about like that. Get some I nice a, pillows. I want some thick boys. No, you're, you're a middle aged man. You're me. rich. My wife <laughs> you you, you yeah. have money. I have begged for big, yeah, yeah. big ass pillows. There's two I'll, things I begged on this fucking show. I'm gonna get you some show. pillows for, for your the, birthday. For the, for the, I would love that. I, you know, there's two things. I'm also gonna get you a peacock. I'm gonna get you a peacock. I want I want towels. I want the bath sheet. My wife says, that's called a bath. What you want is called a bath sheet. Well, I'm like, well, then fucking buy them. <laughs> Hold on. What's what the bath sheet? I have, we have, to, I, all my <laughs> towels are old. Like, I've got old ass towels from when I was like, when I was like a single guy. Yeah. I still have a rust on them and shit. <laughs> you got old rust. I got towel. old rusted towels. <laughs> uh, everything in my house is falling apart. Uh, I, and I was like, please give me towels. I want the big ones. I'm little. I want the big one. You know, you go to a hotel and you get the towel and it's yeah, warm yeah, and you wrap yeah, it yeah, and yeah. you're like, God damn, this is significant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, this is a Dude, significant I've towel. Got, I've got big, thick boys that no. when you fold them, they're like a foot no, tall. No, all of them are this. 
all about her two oh inches. My God. And mine are smaller than the peacock I, shit. I've got some foot tall, thick boys. <laughs> no, <laughs> and mine then, aren't even three inches of peacock shit. They're tiny, <laughs> fucking old grays. My every <laughs> member, my mom and dad used them. 50, my mom and dad rubbed their dead bodies on these fucking towels. That's how old they are. Fifty percent of the towels in my house are Tom and Dan Beach towels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are, those are terrible. <laughs> They're fucking they, terrible. Yeah, yeah. They actually oh put God, water they on. Sheet water. <laughs> they <laughs> sheet yeah. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, he's right. I used the Tom and Dan towel. The roof with them. I used the Tom and Dan towel on my back, and it slices me good. <laughs> yeah. Cuts the fuck out of me. Yeah, the threads. Don't ever buy our shit. Yeah. It's like a, uh, a thousand blades. <laughs> <laughs> the threads, they're all stiff. I'm pretty sure they're made out of asbestos. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, if I was a, a city commissioner, no fucking way I'm dealing with any birds. <laughs> yeah, no comment. <laughs> if you t- what happened to no they, comment? Yeah, if you email me that, I'm like, oh, fuck you. Mr. Dennis, <laughs> Mr. Like, Dennis, what do you think about the birds? Fuck, no comment. I'm fuck a, you. I'm a goddamn commissioner. I'm not, uh, yeah. That birds are your problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah, so this is what she said, uh, quote, there's been lots of false information about them being put into plastic bags and hauled off to the dump. That's not true. They're being put into pillowcases humanely <laughs> and transferred to a farm. And they go nighty night. <laughs> <laughs> they're being put in a pillowcase. They go nighty night. We have a yeah. farm. So we, want... up, we put them in a the pillowcase. We give them a cup of sleepy time tea. Because <laughs> uh, this article, they when they mentioned, like, uh, we got so-and-so to, like, do the trapping, there's, like, a link to the company. They mentioned it's a veteran-owned company. When she says we're sending them to a farm, there oh, is no If it's a no veteran-owned link. company, <laughs> they're as good as fuck. <laughs> Right? There is no link to this farm. And this is also. Because there's old army guys that'll be like, kill them good, right? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I'm, I'm saying. You know what I've seen? <laughs> yeah. It's nothing bad. I'm just saying, oh, it's a veteran owned, like, black rifle cotton. Like, motherfuckers gonna be stomping them good. And she literally used the lie your parents tell you when you have to move to an apartment that doesn't take dogs <laughs> yeah. anymore. Like, uh, they we're sending yeah. them to a farm. I wanna see this farm. <laughs> I wanna see this farm. I wanna see peacocks roaming the fucking hills. I need. It's a ton of shit. I need Three to inches know where this is. <laughs> it's just everywhere. I hope they do, though, take you to an awesome peacock farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like, like wow. oh shit. You're like, this place is awesome. It's <laughs> just miles of peacocks. <laughs> There's fucking uh, enrichment activities and hills for them to climb. Yeah. There's like a really Toys. weird gay guy called the Peacock King. <laughs> yeah, he's running around. <laughs> There's a little uh, red Kong. Just peacock yeah. Kongs. They're chasing yeah. What's the peanut butter in it. Oh, they're chasing a gun. Look at a pecker. They love Look it. Look at a pecker. It Scratch enriches it. their minds. <laughs> Wash your hands when you leave. Salmonella. One guy doesn't understand how guns work, kills himself by accident. <laughs> That's the hardest thing to do with your kids at petting zoos is like getting amazing to understand and wash your goddamn hands. Please yeah. wash your hands, please. You know, it, it does show you the difference. Like, uh, but they, like Roblox and the internet, uh, YouTube is so good. Keep your hands clean. Like, I, you remember, I remember being excited as yeah. a kid going to a petting zoo. My sons oh, yeah. could give two fucks about, like, if I asked them, you want to go pet some goats? Pumped. They're like, fuck no. <laughs> like, what, Maisie what? will, and maybe that shows how dumb she is, but Maisie, because she's oh, an she athlete, she's like, me like gold. <laughs> right out there, and she's like, oh, he's licking me. <laughs> <laughs> me do flip with goat. <laughs> I was startled that uh, we just uh, had a track meet in my kid's high school. They have goats on premises. Really? At the high school. What uh, Are they just eating the grass and shit? No, uh, they had like a nice little, uh, they had like a, I don't know, like a chain link uh, kind of hut, you know, like uh, it was probably like 12 feet tall, maybe eight foot by eight foot on the ground. They got a goat on the <laughs> Like three goats and like a bunch of big ass thing? chickens, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This school comes with a goat hunt and some chickens. <laughs> I asked her to go steady with me down by the goat hunt. <laughs> yeah, I, I just know. got a hand job down by the goat hunt. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, anyway, um, Ross, you're going to be anywhere? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know where I'm going to be? I'll be at the Bullet Bush every Wednesday at 9 for the open mic and first third Saturdays for the um, showcase. You know where I'm going to be on the 28th of April, Tom? Mm. Uh, we got a special show at the Nook. Uh, it's a ticketed show at the Nook. Keep that one in mind. And uh, keep the Milk District in your heart. I know a lot of you guys have joined me in the Milk District recently, and now uh, there's a big construction project in the Milk District. It's kind of hard to get there and park. So, you know, make a special effort. They get effort. fucked all the time, dude. It's insane how... <laughs> Bad in that. I mean, but it's just it's just what yeah. happens. We need we need new power lines. I happen yeah. to know personally that's a hundred year old you water pipe right it. there. They got they got to fix it. So the milk district's uh, going kind of tough. Take care of them in your hearts. So, like, check out me and my wife went to Tasty Tuesday. You, got, you ever been to oh, Tasty Tuesday? Absolutely. Dan? The nook, dude. The dude. nook is low key one of my favorite bars to go to. The owners are super great. It's a chill little teeny 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 bar. Florida beers in there. They're great folks. Go support them. Tom, Give every them Tuesday, love. they bring in like eight, 12 food trucks and they put them in that par- a sports town parking lot and like every- there's just tables and shit. Yeah, and it's a cool. Fuckload of. Um, but it's low key. 
And you just go get some food at a food truck. You go get a beer at Sports Town or Bullen Bush, sit down and eat your food truck food and have a beer. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm awesome. more of a Thirsty Thursday type of guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know. There's, there's beer involved. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, I used to love a Thirsty Thursday. You guys told me this is one of Paul's joints. I'm going to be uh, the 19th of May at Citrus uh, City Craft. Nice. Up, yep. in, uh, Lake, up in Lake Mary. We're going to be doing that Kill Tony style show again. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then don't forget Tots with Ross on all your favorite podcast apps. There you go. Um, I know that uh, we've, you know, like I said, we got appreciation week coming up uh, next week. Well, yeah, my brain is uh, frazzled. I, I feel like I'm forgetting so many things we need to tell them. I Thanks. can't forget. To, I can't wait to see how you piss them off this year. It's gonna <laughs> no, be... they'll be mad. <laughs> <Of something>. Well, <laughs> we, something. we eliminated the yeah. things that mostly We're... piss people off was like, hey, are you get a switch and all the rest of you thousands, uh-huh. you get not a fucking thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we eliminated that. Yeah, so. yeah, but they're more mad about that. They're like, at least some stranger got yeah. a switch. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're playing video games, you little M word. Oh, you thought you could make them happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. We try. Every we try. appreciation week, we lose tons yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh-huh. We are like, not always good trying enough. to thread the needle. Always. Do that thing where you send out the email to remind them that they cancel their cards again. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was a good one. <laughs> uh, we will have some uh, extra BDM uh, shirts up uh, to purchase next week, but you have to be BDM. And uh, uh, we have the BDM Appreciation Party yeah. on 420. And again, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be unlike any party I know that we've ever done before. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, you can yeah. still sign up if you want to go. But that window is closing. Um, and if you are a Poro and you buy a t- BDM t-shirt and me and the other BDMC wearing it, we will Sons of Anarchy chain whip that shit right <laughs> yeah, off yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah. Rambo knife <laughs> right off you. Cut uh, it right off your back. <laughs> that, uh, that happened to Turkey League one time. Yeah, at, uh, that did happen to him. At a bike run that he was going, like when he was doing the poker run to the Keys, he showed up at, like, there's this bar right before you uh, get into the Keys. So it was, like, last chance saloon or some shit. <laughs> yeah. And he was wearing, like, uh, two can keep a secret of three are dead. But it was, like, or two can like keep a, a no secret. no fear shirt. Yeah, it was, like, right? a, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was something, it like. It was, like, a motorcross yeah. brand. He bought it like, at PacSun. Yeah, he bought it at, like, Exhilarate. <laughs> but uh, they, some, like, uh, I remember this biker game. Like, I think it was Hell's Angels. It is. That's like, a Hell's Angels yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came up there, like, you got to take that shirt uh-huh. off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Please don't let me uh, expose my burn jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I have always wanted to be one of those guys, and I don't just. I always wanted were to. Now hold on. I've always wanted to be one of those guys that where you take it one click, just one click. <laughs> I always like. I think I am. I'm. The, I'm not a one click, but I'm closer on a one click than you are. Where they walk up, they're like, "You got to take that shirt off, kid." Uh, and I'm like. Or what? <laughs> right, or one click, one click, just one click, and because they're gonna give you one, they're not gonna kill you. It's not gonna be, it's a kill. Yeah, they might be surprised. They'll yeah, be like, oh they, shit! No, but then they go, oh, we're gonna kill you, and you go, okay. <laughs> right, it's just one click though. Yeah, just yeah, one yeah. click. So Cause you, yeah, because it makes a better story. You could say like, oh, I stood up to him. <laughs> it's a lie, but you know, a little bit. I would immediately take the shirt off and then <laughs> drop my pants too. Yeah. <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> Pull that. It's slow though. Yeah. When I'm scared, I get hard as a rock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm coming right now. When I get scared, I gum my shoes. <laughs> but then they see my dick tattoo and it says Hell's Angels. Yeah. And it starts over again. And they're like, put your shirt back on. I didn't know. I'm sorry, I didn't know. All right, All right let's get out of here. Let's get creepy. All right. Uh, <laughs> We'll see you on Monday. Yeah. Bye. See you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. Bye. Appreciate you.